Oh, would you look at that? Scuffed as fuck at the start of the stream. Uh, well, you saw the subtitles, but yeah. I hope you're having a fantastic night, Noodles. Uh, there's supposed to be people showing up, but we'll uh, figure that out. But yeah, that, that was scuffed. Fuck, man. This is this is my life now. Every single stream is like hella scuffed. Oh no. Oh well. So let's uh get on into this and see uh, who's online. Because I know I've got some friends that are going to be hopping on. My boy Ketter will be on eventually. So that'll be nice. <coughs> and Fire Warriors fucking Gura. Look at this man's. It's been a while. It has been a while. Apparently you uh, followed me back in like, what, 2018 I think? I took a quick look because I didn't recognize the username right away. And I was like, hold up. Yeah. Also, is my audio okay, or should like anything be adjusted? Because I'm playing my music through something different than normal, so things are bound to be a little bit messed up. Hmm. You know what's funny? Like throughout the day, everyone hops on VR chat, and then when I actually get on, there's literally no one on. Oh, which is like funny as all hell. What the fuck? Who's texting me literally as I start stream? Uh, stream. Oh my god. Hold on. Apparently I'm going to be extra scuffed. Audio is okay? Alright, hold up. Get to be extra scuffed because I got to go and get the door, I think. So. One moment. Oh man. All right, now I'm back. Well, kind of. I don't have my headphones on yet, but I went and got the uh, the door. Is uh yeah. All right. The roommate just got here, so uh, and also I used to be named Jenna the Raccoon. Oh, okay. You're from a uh, Trash Kings community, right? Pretty sure that's where I remember that from. Almost certain that's where it's from. Uh, it's me, your friendly neighborhood sleep paralysis demon, lurking while I cook. Hey, I appreciate it, man. Uh, you'll be joining us when you got your food and you're all done. So, you get to see who's online right now, because it's not a whole lot. Hmm. Oh god, chat is going... What the fuck? Why is chat on there twice? Oh my god. There we go, that should have fixed that. I don't know why. Literally so scuffed. Like, my streams are scuffed as fuck now. <sighs> It'd be that way. You gotta see who all is on though, like... Wasn't really expecting... Too many people to be on this evening, but... It'd be that way. But literally, like, all throughout the day, people were on. So I was like, oh, cool. People will be on tonight when I go to stream. And there's, like, nobody. And I'm like, bro, what? What is this? Why is this my life? Uh, the fucking struggle. But hey, I fixed that little bit of scuff down there. You know, chat is on here twice. Because for some reason, uh, I use two different broadcasting softwares. So I can have my chat overlaid on my screen while I play. So I use a uh, Gamecaster and OBS. Gamecaster I don't stream from though. I just like use it for the chat overlay. And uh yeah, that's nah. Like OBS isn't supposed to pick it up. And yet it still does. And it's like, god damn it. <sighs> Cause it's just like an overlay that's over there. And it's like, alright, cool. So I can read that. But then it shows up on my actual stream and it didn't used to. So I'm like, God damn, I hate this, man. Oh, well, we'll make that work. We'll, we'll, we'll manage. That's just swapped out my, like, actual one that I like using. Like, my glitch one. But, yeah, whatever. We got this one now. But, yeah. So, uh, Noodles the Raccoon. How have you been? I don't, uh, 
Oh, yeah, I literally don't remember the last time I saw you around here. Like, it must have been a very long time ago. Yeah, there we go. Let's get a little bit closer. That looks a little better. Yeah, that's better. I just go to, like, the, like, dead face. Be like, what's up? <laughs> uh, but, yeah, so we're going to be doing some uh, spooky, scary stories. I'm probably going to be repeating the ones that we've already had before. Um, like mine and whatnot, because, well, obviously, it's, I've told my stories on my channel quite a lot. But now I've got to, you know, I want to like do it in VR chat because I don't really talk about it in VR chat. So I'm sorry if you guys have heard the stories before, but, you know, we're going to, you know, we're going to we're going to get some other people up in this, too. I remember Fricks did want me to. Oh, why am I lagging so much? What the fuck? Are you fucking serious right now? Are you fucking serious right now? What the actual hell? I'm getting so cheesed. Like, what the actual fuck? Why is my stream like lagging like a motherfucker? <sighs> this is annoying as shit. But, you know, just my luck. Why wouldn't it be? Alright, hopefully it works. I don't know. Let's give it a quick stress test. Because I know it was working perfectly fine the other day. And now it's lagging. Oh my god, are you fucking serious right now? I'm honestly fucking annoyed right now. What the fuck? All right, hold on. Let me test something, okay? Let me just close this. All right. And you know what? Fuck the subtitles. All right, let's see if that helps. Because if that helps, then sure. I'll just throw up Spotify and we'll listen to normal music. But I don't know. Let's, let's see. Let's see. See if this becomes fucking Legoland again. Also, my chat disappeared because I tabbed off. Fucking fan. This is scuffed as all hell, man. What the hell? Uh, fucking VR chat. All right, let's give it a quick little do 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 do. See if it works. Come on, one two one two hit. It looks like it's kind of working. So, cool. Let's see if Spotify will work then. Cause if that solves that, then fuck it, we'll use it. Uh, let's go for the. Hip hop, I guess. Why not? That should be fine. But I don't think I even have the what song is playing active, so I don't need that. Cool. Dope. All right, so hopefully this will actually work. Cause if not, I'm gonna probably just like say fuck it and just not even stream tonight. Cause that that'll cheese the hell out of me if that happens. Uh. And people tell me they might stop by, so that's awesome. All right, so let's see who else has logged down since, because it looks like there's already more people, so that'll be nice. But unfortunately, I don't really like hang out with all these people anymore, so can't just be like, "Hey, come be a part of my stream," and then just like that'd be cool, because well, that's not how that works. Hmm. Yeah, oh well. We'll just chill here for a moment until, like, you know, just hang out. Just all of us. Until, like, you know, Ketter arrives or somebody else that stops on by. Because I know Tom said he might stop by. So, we'll see. And I also got, like, some chocolate milk with me tonight instead of an energy drink. So, that's, that's going to be different. But, I mean, at least my throat won't hurt as much. Oh, boy. I mean... It does coat the throat a lot, so it really helps. Thanks for the follow, something. Thanks for the follow, senpai. <laughs> Phase, thank you for the follow. I much appreciate it. You are, we are one follow away from 1,200 now. That's dope. And also, my stream fucking lag like a bitch. Thanks, VR chat. <sighs> I'm 
I'm getting really fucking annoyed with this game. Like, I know it's not my computer. I know it's the fucking game. Because I, I can stream Halo fine. I can stream Just Chatting fine. I can stream Doom fine. I can stream literally anything else fine. I sit here alone in a world, and this thing gets fucked up. And it's like, what the fuck? Let's see, is there anything I can do to make this better? Let me see if I can fuck around in my OBS. Like, maybe mess with a setting or something. Because, <sighs> like, I'm pretty sure I have it set to, like, 720p or some shit. Yeah, I literally have it set to 720p. So that shouldn't even matter. Capped at 30 FPS. Yeah, I, I don't know anymore, man. This is... <sighs> I don't know. Yeah, this is this is dumb. Yeah, I, I literally have no idea why this is being such a dick. Um is there something I can do in task manager? Like what the fuck? go details and we'll find VR chat and all this bullshit Let's see if we can set it to high priority and set OBS to high priority as well set priority high then we'll go to OBS even though it's already running in administrator mode yeah what about it's already in high so let's change it to real time I don't fucking know to see what all I can like disable right now that doesn't mess with shit uh, how am I I'm usually a lot happier than this but you know stream is just scuffed from the start I don't even know what the hell's going on like it was perfectly fine two days ago and now it's lagging like hell so if I move around it just gets fucked and I'm not really a big fan of that Unity Crash Handler. I'm assuming that's VR chat oriented. Uh, well, shit. My CPU is up to like 50%. So what the hell? VR chat's taking up 30%. That makes sense. OBS is taking up five. So desktop window manager. Why does that run at like 3% to 5? That's very odd. But even then, my, C my CPU is only getting up to 50%. My memory is only getting up to 50%. Somehow my GPU is running at 99. Because of VR chat. Like, that makes absolutely no sense. I'm running at 1050 Ti. VR chat's fine. Like, what the hell? This is weird. It shouldn't be having such an issue. Because, like, the other day, stream was perfectly fine. Maybe if I load up... Like, I'm going to close VR chat and load it back up and see if that fixes it. Because maybe it will. Because if that works, then dope. But... This is... This is just... I don't know, man. It shouldn't be doing it like this. Ugh... <sighs> Yeah, of course my stream will get scuffed, why wouldn't it? It just makes sense. Alright. Let's see if it actually, like, lags at all while I'm walking over to the thing. Glad that phone has, like, some delay on it. Because I, like, monitor my stream through it. Alright, we're gonna pretend that it's working fine now. 
Also, now my chat is on my screen, but not for you guys. So now I'm extra confused. Like, I don't know. This is now it's gone again. <sighs> you guys ever just like wanted to give up on something that you cared about? Like, what the fuck? This sucks. Like, this is mad stupid, dude. Like, beyond stupid, stupid. I hate this so much. <sighs> And now my computer is not fucking responding. Great. All right. Let's see if I can get the subtitles working again. Uh, it should work, hopefully. Yeah, it looks like it is. Dope. All right. I don't fucking know anymore. My game's just gonna be laggy as fuck. Y'all enjoy watching a slideshow? This is stupid, man. Yeah, I don't know. Fuck it. We're just gonna chill here. We're just gonna talk until someone else wants to show up. Oh yeah, it's lagging again. That's gonna be great. You know what? Let's try going to a different world, see if that helps. Because this world was fine before, but uh There's gotta be like an easy world. Homebox is pretty easy, isn't it? Uh, we'll see. I don't know. Alright. How leggy is this one? And let's see. Maybe it'll work better because it's like not as much shit going on here. I mean, it looks like it's doing better. But could just be temporary, so who fucking knows? Like, I don't know. Uh, the what mouse of trash? I'm so confused. None. Okay, y'all can fuck off. Seriously, both of you. Enough. Fucking cats, dude. I'm not having a good day. <laughs> fuck today. And now my fucking chat isn't even popping up on my screen. So, like, what the fuck? Like, hello? Alright. Now is it working? I don't fucking know. Uh, you gonna start streaming more often? Since you have been. I, I mean, I have a schedule, dude. Like, <laughs> streaming the same as I normally do. But I don't even know if this is getting picked up by fucking chat anymore. No, it's not. Alright, great. So, now do I put on my actual chat and see how that fucking works? Because getting really fucking annoyed with how scuffed this shit is. Just, I'm having a shit day, honestly. I'm just having a shit fucking year, honestly. Like... I don't want to deal with this bullshit no more, man. It's just, it's mad stupid. I don't know. But now, Micah, I have, I literally stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. Like, there's occasional times that I miss it, but that's only because, you know, shit happens. 
Like, I'm probably not streaming Saturday because I'm moving that day. So I'll be moving all my shit over to my parents' place. And I don't even know if I'll have internet because I'll need to find a way to connect to the modem that's on a different floor. And the only ethernet cords I've got are only 25 feet long. So 25 feet ain't good when it's an entire fucking house. I don't know. Let's see, uh, is anyone else fucking online yet? I know Tom said he might be. Monday, Wednesday, Saturday. Oh, that's why I didn't notice because notifications. I mean, you could just have notifications turned off. A lot of people do. Sorry, my cats are just fucking around, being annoying as shit. <sighs> I would like to die. Fuck this game. Fuck this life. Just want to move out in the middle of fucking nowhere. Let's go out into the woods and build a cabin or some shit. Get away from everyone. Have Mamba Mobile Twitch doesn't get everyone even if that person has notifications on. I've never missed a notification, so maybe it's just you. <laughs> like, if someone goes live, I see their stream went live, but I turn off notifications for a lot of people. Ketter was going to join when he's done eating. Tom said that he might swing by. So. Uh, who knows? It's life. We'll exist and we'll be sad. And I can't, I don't really want to tell like no spooky stories just by myself because that's kind of boring. Uh, I just want to get like a little bit closer to that. Yeah, that'll be better. That way I fill up more of the fucking screen. It's not like just a little bit and it's weird. I can say like this, or like this, but like, I guess this will work a little better. I don't know. I really got to work on my own model. Like, I kind of want to make one, but at the same time, like, I don't play this game enough to really warrant it. And I know I have a buddy that said that he'll toss one together for me. And I sent him some assets that, you know, I was like, this, this shit all work. And he's like, yeah, that works. But, you know, he's got his own life going on, so he'll get around to it when he gets around to it. Um, because, like, to him, it's just something he can do quite quick. So it's like, alright, nope. But, I don't know, I don't really want to be too... Like, I used to be super dependent on playing this game. And, like, I was, you know, enjoying it for a while. But then there was just, like, so much shit that was going on that it just, you know, made it a lot less fun. And then I just, you know, wasn't having a good time. But, I don't know. I just kind of want to, like, live my life and do the best I can type idea. You know what I mean? Yeah, old map, trash mass was busy. Well, it's not even that I was busy. It was just, this game's, like, full of a bunch of drama queens, dude. Like, I literally played this... And or like I streamed this like seven days a week at one point for months and months and months. And then like it was always so much fucking drama around. And I'm like, I'm not dealing with that. I'm like, what the fuck? But then I just kind of stopped playing and I don't really want to get too involved in the community again. But at the same time, like the game apparently is dying. Like according to like a lot of the big streamers that I know, they're like, yeah, the, the game's dying. There's other ones. Um. Yeah, they live in VRC. I think the advantage I have is, you know, I play desktop mode, so it's not like my life type thing. It'd be nice to have VR and whatnot, but I don't know. 
getting that all set up would be, well, number one, hell at the moment. But, like, I don't know. I, I don't want to, like, get super, super overly invested in it. Because if I do, I know that it'll cause me, like, more stress in the long run. Because, like, enough people in here are just, like, for lack of better phrasing, people that never grew up, right? Or they never got the chance to. And, like, they're, like, the, the either the outcasts or the nerdy kids or something like that. And then when they, like, start being, like, popular in some capacity in VR chat. Then they do the exact thing that like their bullies used to do to other people, right? But then they just like they say that they don't do that, and it's like, dude, y'all just like bunch of fucking teenagers. Like I know people that are in like their forties that play this, and they act like they're fucking thirteen, and I'm like, dude, what? But I think that's where I kind of tried to distance myself from this game because like a lot of the people that I hang out with were normally pretty chill, but like the shit that I did was just like. You know, I, I went around, I'd flirt with people, I'd shoot the shit, I'd make new friends or whatever. But if someone would start annoying me, I'd just tell them to fuck off. Like, that just made more sense to me. Because I was like, no, I can differentiate my real life from a video game. I get it's a socializing game, so it's, you know, not much different than real life. But it's still a fucking video game. Like, you don't know these people. Like, you can know some of them. But on the most part, it, it's people that you don't know what they actually look like. Right, like there's people that I've known in VR chat because I've been playing VR chat since it first came out, and it was just always like you don't know everyone, right? Like I have friends on like my friends list from like before you gone in Knuckles was even a thing, and like I still talk to them, but it's just like nah. Like there's a few people that I'm really close with that I've met through this, but that's because I talked to them outside of this as well, right? And a lot of the people they only talk to each other in VR chat. Um, I would wait until you can afford emergency PC parts and have excess before thinking about VR. Uh, see, yes and no. Like, I would like to be able to have just PC parts, because I'm running a 1050 Ti right now, which apparently is having issues even just playing this. I would walk away or block people like those. Are, yeah, like, it's not even like the 13-year-olds. They act like 13-year-olds. Like, there's people, like, I'm, I know someone that's in their 40s that acts like a fucking child. And I'm like, oh my god, like... No wonder there's so much drama with you. Oh, I tried giving you the benefit of the doubt, but you're a terrible person. Like, <laughs> of which you know is not really a, a good way of looking at shit or saying things, but that's just what it is. Like, if someone's a terrible person, they're a fucking terrible person, right? And sometimes people need to be called out for that kind of shit. Or at least I believe so. It's like, if you're going to be, like, rude to other people or talk shit or, you know, cause drama, you should be called out for it. Physical age ain't shit. Well, they act like they're better than you because they're, like, older. And then it's like, well, why don't you act like it then? Like, what the fuck? I've had more sophisticated, like, conversations with my nephew who is not even 10. Like, fuck off. <laughs> it's like, all you do is bitch and moan. At least I can, like, hang out and play Minecraft with my nephew. You know, like... <laughs> And he's enjoyable to be around. You, eh, not so much, you know. Um, I'm finally back. Jesus, it's been a while. Is that Guido? Is that motherfucking Guido? Holy shit. Oh my fucking God. How you been, dude? It has been a while, bro. Holy shit. <laughs> How long has it been? Like, what the hell? Like, I know I haven't had... Like, I had a little bit of, like, a break when I was streaming because, you know, mental health and shit, but... I don't remember the last time I saw you, homie. Like, what the fuck? Be good. Just got off a stream and I saw the notif. Oh, shit. Nice, nice. Like, you were streaming or you in somebody else's stream? Yeah, three weeks. Yeah. Oh, maybe, yeah. Yeah, you were streaming? Nice. How'd your stream go, dude? You're just like, you're playing guitar. Oh, Guitar Hero or actual guitar? Yeah, it went well. Dope, dope. That's fucking awesome. Yeah. 
Because I know that a lot of people are into, like, rhythm games, and I got people that do, like, actual live mixing of music and shit, and, like, I'm like, yo, both are dope, so it be what it be. So this man comes in, plays guitar. Oh, shit. Either way, I'm like, yo, I'm down for it. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, I need to wait for a couple buddies to hop on, then we're going to talk about, like, our spooky, scary stories and shit. A acoustic and electric. Dope. Yeah, I want to, like, so I'm going to be moving back here with my parents. Not by choice, but, you know, that's what happens when your life gets fucked up. Um, you know, I moved out at 18. I'm moving back in at 24. Uh, <laughs> not fun. But the way I'm looking at it is I got to, like, kind of see some silver lining, right? So I'm not going to need to worry about where my food's coming from anymore because there's always food there, right? So it's like, all right, dope. I'm already going to have, like, a drastic life change because of it, so I might as well, like, you know, focus on me a bit more. So I'm going to, like, focus on my health and whatnot. So I'm going to start working out and shit, and I've been debating because I've got, like, a bass and I've got a guitar, and I kind of want to, like, learn how to play them again because it's been years since I used to play. Because, like, it's a funny thing. When I first started streaming VR chat many years ago, I was, like, one of those birds that went around playing guitar. Um... <laughs> uh, well, Lefty and I borrowed a right-handed guitar, so I was playing it upside down, but for some reason, I'm good at it. Oh, not bad, not bad. See, I know a lot of people, like, even if they're left-handed or right-handed, they don't really care because you use both hands, right? It's the same as being left-handed and use your right hand for a mouse. Like, you just adapt. But uh, if you need some help with guitar, I can help out if you want. No, 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 no. It'd be, like, more of just something I want to, like, pick up and fiddle fart around with for a little bit, like, every night or some shit. Or, like, maybe just, like, learn scales and then learn some music theory. That way I can learn better. You were the music guitar person before Adzi. Who the fuck's Adzi? I have no idea who that is. Yeah, like, this was, like, back, like, oh, fuck, probably, like, 2017? I don't know. Like, I used to do it, like, Ugana Knuckles had been out for a little bit before I started streaming this game. But, like, I've been playing this game since before you go on in Knuckles. So, whatever that was. Adzi is a morning streamer. Uh, okay. Well, then. Yeah, I don't really, uh... I don't pay much attention to, like, what other streamers are around and stuff normally anymore. Like, I got a few friends that stream, but... You know, a lot of them don't really talk to me no more. And I'm like, alright, well... Is it because I'm not being content for you anymore in your streams? Because <laughs> I realized once I stopped, like, hanging out with, like, people only when they're streaming and I wanted to hang out with them outside of when they're streaming, nobody wanted to hang out. Um, so I'm like, all right, well, fuck it. Like, I got some friends, I guess. <laughs> like, but, nah, it's, it's, uh, I started going to, like, public worlds and stuff and people wouldn't join on me because I was in a public world. And I'm like, well... I'm not afraid of getting banned because I'm not doing stupid shit, you know, like, if you're doing stupid shit and you're trying to, like, tell everyone in the fucking lobby that you're a streamer, expect people to try and get you banned, but if you're just hanging out and chilling, like, nobody really gives a fuck, you know what I mean, so, I don't know, I've never had any issues in public worlds usually, like, I think I've maybe had, like, maybe one or two, at most. And we're like, oh, that wasn't really cool of them. But it's usually because someone else will mention that I'm a streamer. I'm like, the only time I mention that I'm a streamer is either, like, in passing in a conversation, talking about something I did in the past while streaming, or, like, if they ask. Because I'm pretty sure, like, my status on here is still, like, my stream. Let me see. Yeah, it still is. So, like, people will, like, check that out and be like, oh, shit, this man streams, and then they'll come over. Is Sassy joining the stream? Also, yeah, I get what you talked about. Sassy who? I mean, that should be answer enough, but like, who? <laughs> like, I'm I'm bad with names, dude. Do I know Llama Lad? Yeah. yeah. I used to hang out with him a bit. Not really, like, as friends, but like, you know, we knew mutual people and we'd always, like, be around each other. Also, it just occurred to me that my music was muted still. Uh, the boy you were with last time that does a sick sass in the Sasquatch voice? I have no idea who the fuck you're talking about. 
like not even remotely a clue anymore but yeah i used to like i'd hang around llama lad occasionally but like i think we have each other on our, or, like, i think we have each other on our friends list but we don't really like never hung out it was more of like we were both in the same world kind of thing it was like well mutual friends you know so what happens when you like streamers know other streamers i remember like actually like the first time that uh I, uh, <laughs> the first time that, like, I met Maddie, I was like, yo, shit, what the fuck? And then, like, Maddie added me, and I was like, yo, this is dope. And then, like, I was, like, almost a little bit awestruck, because I was like, this is a big streamer. And then, like, I think it wasn't even, like, a week after that that I was like, oh, yeah, they're just fucking people. Because, like, for my mind, like, YouTubers and streamers were, like, way more important and, like, fancy than, like, real-life superstar-type people, right? Because, like, I've met, like, musicians, and I've met, like, you know, like, actors and shit, and I'm just like, alright, yeah, they're just people. But then I'm like, oh my god, this person actually does something I want to do, right? And I, so I guess that's kind of the same kind of concept, but, like, they're not, in my brain, a real person, technically, because they're, like, virtual, right? Because, um, like, if I were to meet, say, like, um, like a major idol of mine, like Danny Sexbang, you know, like, Dan Avidan, uh, for, like, Game Grumps and Ninja Sex Party and all that. If I were to meet him in real life, he's just a person, right? Like, I he's still probably someone I'd fangirl over a little bit, but he's still just a person. But the like the virtual people, like it's like almost like I don't I don't know how to explain it. It's like meeting like an anime character kind of thing. You're like, it's not a real person, but then it's an actual real person. But then like now, obviously after you know knowing them, like, it's the exact same feeling I get as like a normal person. Uh, which is it was like a weird little like transitional phase but i remember like i even like took a, a picture of my screen and sent it to my friend right on snapchat and i was like oh my god look who i'm hanging out with and then my buddy was like dope i love it because he was a bigger fan of them than i was <laughs> and i was like oh man uh you're with a dude and a girl joined and we made jokes about australia i don't fucking know dude uh, people don't realize they're just all normal people just because they're well known doesn't change that unless they let it get to their head yeah true exactly right but like because like they were like virtual and they weren't technically like quote-unquote real in my brain right because i know that everyone on here is fucking it's a facade for the majority of people right so that's why i'm like yo i'm i'm fucking like I'm down, like, to be a fangirl, right? And then I was like, oh, shit, yeah. Like, literally a week after, like, meeting all, like, the, the big people, I was like, oh, yeah, they're definitely just normal people. All right, cool. And then I just went back to how I was with everyone else, right? Because, like, again, like, I've met, like, um, like, what's his name? Like, Josh Ramsey or whatever from uh, Mariana's Trench. I've met, oh, fuck, who was the actor I met? Uh, I, I don't know. I met a couple actors or whatever when I was younger because they were at a performance thing. So... Because, like, where I was visiting, there was, like, this big fucking award. It doesn't matter. It's not important. I met people, right? And it was just like, all right, yeah, they're people. I like portraying a character of being who people want you to be when you stream, right? Yeah, like, okay. So, like, I think that's where I've got a slight advantage on people is, like, I'm still me. Like, yes, I exaggerate me a little bit, but I'm still me, right? I don't put on, like, a character. Everyone else puts on, like, a character of some kind or, like, they decide to be mute. And, like, I don't judge people for being mute, right? Like, you do what you want to do. Um, I don't judge you for playing a character either. That's your prerogative, right? It's like you're that's what people go there for But for me, it's just like yeah, like sometimes I'll be like higher energy version of me, but it's not a different me It's the same as how like uh, when you hang out with your buddies, right? You'll swear and you'll like do stupid shit But then like when you're around like, you know elderly people, right? You're more polite. You don't swear, you know, you're still you You're just showing a different face of what you actually are, you know like knowing how to read a room well for me like i'm generally like like this is the way i'm talking right now like this is what i used to say is why i don't talk with my normal voice because like i'm super chill like this like i just talk um i'm not hyper about nothing i'm not excited about nothing i'm not doing nothing that's like too like oh, oh, oh. um but at the same time like when i've got the higher energy and everyone's like I, I boost that kind of energy for everyone else, right? Because they, they bounce off of it. Um, oh, that's Ketter. Uh, I accept. So hopefully that goes through for you, Ketter. But, like, for me, like, I find that apparently people really like hearing my natural voice now. 
And if I start streaming at later times, you know, people are just going to want to fall asleep to it. So it's like, all right, cool. And that was what I enjoyed about streaming late is everyone would throw on my stream and lurk just so they can nap. And I was like, yo, I'm actually helping people like this, you know? Oh shit, we got a catter. Oh shit. Hello, my friend. Yeah, let me crouch down. Oh no, I look scuffed as hell when I crouch. Uh, uh, there's gotta be a way to make this look good on screen. Uh, well. Now you can't really read chat because the hair's all white. Damn it. Uh, that's a ketter, all right. Yeah, it is, Rail. How's it going, buddy? Do you want to join us? Um, that's a spook and a half. Yeah, he's a little spooky. Uh, what the hell is that? That that's just a ket. That's just yeah. It's just, yeah, it's just, yeah, it's just a ketter. Don't worry about it. All right. You convinced me. I'm very good at that. That's what I do. All right. Let's see, can I like make this look alright from like this angle? Because I wonder if I can get this. Hmm. I don't know, I'm like, there's like a delay for my like, because I use a cell phone for, uh, what's it called? Like to monitor my stream, like my bot account. So I think this will look okay at this angle. Now, all I just need to do is fill up all the void on the right side with, uh, well, if Rell ends up hopping on, then him and uh, Ketter here. So, unfortunately, I think they both use small avatars, so that probably won't work. <laughs> mm. It's all right, Ketter. Don't worry. I can just swap to a smaller one. I've got them. <laughs> I just can see what Rell is. Yeah. By the way, do I talk too much or anything? I just like to. I message. No, man. Like, all right. If any person tells you not to message in their chat, I, they probably shouldn't be streaming. Like, we literally get, like, a thing at the end of our streams that says, like, hey, yeah, well, I mean, you stream, so you should know. But, like, there's literally a thing that says how active your chat was. So, which, you know, generally it makes you have that little, like, heart boner when, uh, you know, it's a little bit higher than normal. So. Alright, there we go. Now we're how dare you give me someone to talk to yeah what the fuck why would you talk in chat like what the hell why would you do the one thing I want from people in my chat yeah that's exactly yeah what is stream deck used for what do you mean like there's are you talking about like the Elgato stream deck uh, too much from one person is annoying? Nah, too much from one person is not annoying, dude. Not unless that person is annoying, but that's separate, you know? It's the same as just having a conversation with somebody, right? Maybe it just makes sense to me. Yeah. Alright. But what do you mean, like... By stream deck, do you mean, like, the, the Elgato stream deck? Alright, so pretty much, you know how you can use hotkeys for shit? It's like a similar concept, but they're like, it's like a little set of buttons that you can give certain functions to. So you can make it so it does something super fancy, right? So like it'll um, throw up a bunch of different overlays and transitions and random shit happens in a certain order with timers. Or you could just make it so it swaps scenes. Or you can make it so it opens up Notepad. You know, it's pretty much just like advanced hotkeys, really with like multiple things that it can do. I mean, that's just, that's the easiest way of putting it. There's more that you can do with it, but I don't use an Elgato Stream Deck because they're overpriced and I can do the exact same thing for free. So I use a mixture of Touch Portal and Leorin board and that works for me. Gotta head out for a bit, I require my dinner. I ain't letting my pizza go to waste. Anyone want to do it? Don't say that. I haven't really ate today, so like, don't be saying I'm um, sharing pizza when you, you ain't, can't actually share the pizza. Don't go cry, man. Like, I straight up just look you dead in the eye and be like, hey, boo hoo. Oh, I went through the fucking mirror. Let me get up to this mirror. All right, boo hoo. This is my boo hoo, bitch. All right, this is my boo hoo. He don't give a fuck. All right, but yeah, take it easy, dude. I will literally ship you the goddamn pizza. I think it'd just be easier to use my treat stream instead of shipping me a fucking pizza. <laughs> I think it'd get here quicker too. <laughs> but don't do that. But yeah, take it easy, man. Go enjoy your pizza. I hope you have a fantastic night. <laughs> oh boy. 
Okay, dude, fuck off, cats, both of you. You're both old enough to know not to be annoying little shit, right? So fucking stop. Alright, sorry about that. Also, you'd kind of dox yourself? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, if I were to give you my address, Dad, you sent me pizza. Is that a rail? That is a rail. And there we go. But yeah, like, I, uh... What the fuck was I even talking about? God, I'm stupid. Alright, well, I don't know anymore. Catter, I'm very small brain, dude. Oh, whoa. Hmm. I miss you, bro. Is that the other trash mouse? Oh my fucking god, it is. Holy shit. Oh. I've missed you, brother. I've, I've missed you, brother. How you doing, dude? You want to come on and, like, talk about spooky, scary stories and shit with us? I mean... We in VRC. Do it up. Come join me, man. I haven't talked to you, like, actually talked to you in fucking forever. I'm not alright with this. What the fuck is that? <sighs> well. <laughs> you know, I've never really wanted to kill myself. In game, in game. But, uh, I think I might soon. Uh, if I can get my headset to work, hell yeah. Dope, dude. If not, there's always desktop mode. Also, my pants, even though I'm not fucking moving, are somehow constantly riding up. So I don't know what the hell's going on with that. Fucking on me. Ugh. Help. You're beyond help. Come on, Rel. Oh, still broken. <laughs> that's, that's fair. Yep. yep. That's how it would be, man. Yeah, Mickey, you should come join us and we'll, uh, just talk spooky, scary stories. I'm gonna tell the stories that I've already told before, just because, you know, Halloween and people on my channel have already heard it before, but at the same time, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to tell my stories and I'm, I'm kind of out, other than the ones I've already told on the channel before, and, you know, I can't actually stream on Halloween because I'm moving, so... <laughs> I won't be able to. I think I'm, I'm almost certain that I'm moving on Halloween. And that's Saturday, isn't it? Oh, let me look this up. Today's Wednesday the 28th. Sunday. Is it? No, it is Saturday. Yeah, it's Saturday. Yeah, so I'm literally moving on Halloween. So, yay. The fucking struggle. Okay, you gotta... You were telling me about that avatar before. Isn't that the one where you can, like, change your armor and everything? Like, in-game? Yeah. Alright, let me copy that off you. Oh, yeah. Come on, you little shit. I need this in my life. I will stab you. Send a family to get my heads me headset from the store today. Wall, so I'm for sure getting on tonight. Dope, man. That's awesome. Brother. I want this avatar. Give. Give. I will stab. Give. Boy. I just it. I've already turned I'm trying. It won't let me clone public avatar. Try harder. I. There's literally video evidence of me clicking this. Yeah, why is it grayed out? I don't fucking know. I'm just gonna cry about it. Boo hoo. Rel, I forget. Do you have spooky, scary stories to share with the class? Not particularly, but I guess I could make one up. <laughs> That's not the point. Show avatar author. This person has an avatar world. Is this from a world or from somebody? Somebody gave it. Alright, well, I'm going to favorite this place and well I guess none of my normal ones are saved so let's just put it I think this one's my avatar ones whatever we're gonna pretend oh my god I mean my birth was in October so that in its own right is spooky I mean is it though that just means that you were like a New Year's baby doesn't it like means that like Oh, it's either New Year's or 
Valentine's Day because it came out early or you came out late you know what I mean because it's nine months after and <laughs> But like October is what the tenth month. That's accurate. So I mean, if you came out a month early, you know you're Valentine's Day fuck. Something tells me that uh, you're probably gonna like hurt your hand if you fire a Spartan laser one-handed. October fourteenth. Yeah. So if you were exactly one month early, you know, like or pretty much. <laughs> There you go. Now you know you were you were a fucked on to existence on Valentine's Day. Or around then. I mean the way that I look at it is uh well I was born in July, so that's you know, the seventh month. Yeah, I'm an October fuck. I was a Halloween party fuck. Probably. I think that's math. Yeah, that's math because there's two more after October and then there's July. Halloween freaky fuck. Exactly. I even like joked they made my parents uncomfortable talking about it. I was like, yeah, man, you guys went to some weird fucking Halloween party and then I showed up because, you know, I came along nine months after Halloween. And they were like, well, nine months in like two weeks. And I was like, yeah, and I was two weeks late. And they were like, oh, yeah. I was like, yeah, you fucking, uh-huh, like, or early? I don't know. Yeah, wait. Yeah, no? I don't know. It doesn't fucking matter. I know I came out late. Or like, a, I know it's not to an exact date anyway, so fuck it, whatever. I was told that, my, whatever. I, w I came out late and was still undercooked, alright? That's how it'd be. Damn, caught them slipping. My parents are funny as fuck. Like, they're chill. So, like, they find humor in that kind of thing. The fuck is this? Get an e boy up. What up, e boy? Alright. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> yeah. 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 Pretty much. That a small cootie. It do that way, man. But yeah, Mickey, uh, you'll need to send me a request uh, in order to join. Just because, you know, my computer be shitting the bed, as always. So. The downside using a 1050 Ti, but it's still better than what I had, so I cannot complain at all. Like, whatsoever. Because I'm pretty sure with what I had before, I would not even be able to run VR chat. Again? Oh, Chica sexy one, Chica sexy two, Chica sexy three. <laughs> Thank you, Ari. I appreciate it. That's what, six months? Oh shit, it is six months. Nice. Wait, that means that you're a trash boy hatched. Or you're a little trash mouse. So what are you gonna name your mouse? Now we need to know. What what are, what are you gonna name your mouse? Oh shit. An upgrade is an upgrade. Yeah, exactly. Gary? Alright, go post that in, in the Discord. Just be like I named my mouse Gary. Because there's literally a, a section in the Discord that is meant for like the trash mouse names for anyone that's like, you know, hatched a mouse. Because everyone knows that mice hatch. It's a cute name, bro. It'd be that way. It's either Jerry or Gary, but I mean, it's just Gurry. He's a good old Gurry. Ovary, apparently, according to my subtitles. Facts, brother. Yeah. Oh, yo, you know what? This actually works out pretty good. Alright, so if I line this up like this, I can get Ketter in the middle, and then I just force Rel to be off to the side. I came in on hatching mice. It'd be that way. After six months of being subscribed, you hatch a mouse. And then you gotta name them. And then, you know, you throw that into the Discord and people are like, oh, You have a mouse that you named. And it's like, hell yeah. Because one day I want to have like a drawing with all of the mice. And everyone's not. And I'd be like, yeah. We have created a giant mass of sewer rats. You know, essentially. Trash mice, sewer rat. Same difference. Right? Pretty much. I don't like that. Like, at all. Like, at all. 
<laughs> Alright, let's get to a little scuff tight. Let's do this. This works. Alright. Or should I just like do this? And be like, hey yo. I'm just a little head down here. Nah, this angle don't work, man. Like what the hell? <laughs> and man. Oh shit. Uh I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> yeah. A mass of hatched rodents. Exactly. I've done it. Nice. Okay. Let's oh, that's spooky scary. What's up? Don't want to be up my nose. Watch this. <laughs> Just, I don't like that. It'd be that way. Oh god, I'm trying to get this lined up nice. Good enough, right? I don't know. I can like, we'll just, we'll just do this and I'll be like, alright, I'm just looking at these fuckers. Oh shit, it's this one. Oh, alright. See, it's funny. Every time I think of you, I think of this, even though I know what you look like in real life. <laughs> like, just because I, my, one of my favorite memories of Rel is him literally like staring down my crasher friend with a nerf gun. Like, <laughs> I mean, he, it was... Costume this year would just be this avatar. <laughs> I mean, it's clearly the scariest thing. Yeah. Yeah, boy. All right, so we should probably get in to talk about spooky, scary shit now that we're, you know, an hour into the fucking stream, and that's kind of the whole point of the stream. <laughs> you guys are like, what? Nah. Well, if it's scary stories you want, why don't we go to work with the campfire? Uh, because my computer was going to explode just in my home world. So I came That's here. Fair. Yeah. Makes me sad. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Like, literally, I was streaming VR chat the other day and it was perfectly fine in that world. Because I was in there for like almost like three hours with. Or I was about two hours with the Goddess and we we're just shooting the shit. Not to worry. I can take care of it. I like the cut of your jib. <laughs> you tried doing a thumbs up and couldn't. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> it was like, that's a fist. <laughs> Good enough. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, look at this man over here using the fucking vape. <laughs> Cannot believe this means. All right, so let's uh, you know what? We should we should come up. You know what? Let's try. Let's try another world. Let's see what happens. All right, there's gotta be a spooky, scary world that isn't going to blow up my computer. So let's go to Halloween, Halloween 2020. Uh, yeah, there's gotta be one with like a fire. Actually, you know what? A lot of them end up getting uh. A Halloween version this time of year, so I could just go to one that I know is good. That you know should like I know it has a fire. So all right, it's not these ones. All right, uh, is it this in here? Let's find out. I think this is the one I'm thinking of. Yes. Yeah, alright, cool. No. No, this is not the one I'm thinking of. Fuck me. Careful, you burn your hand. Uh. Such a hyper realistic drawing game. Well, it. now I'm just really confused. There's one that's literally called Campfire Hangout, so let's go to that one. New instance. Uh, I'm gonna call it Invite Plus, but please don't invite people. So. Here we go, boys. All right, let's see if this actually works. If it doesn't, I'm probably gonna cry. But you know, that's my fucking life. <sighs> oh. All right, 
right, there's one. No cry. I might cry. Don't judge me, Ari. I might just cry. Let's go through fire. Me, good enough, right? Oh, that's terrifying. <laughs> like... I actually like really like that, but that's terrifying. <laughs> Hold on, look up for a sec. Oh man, my my thing actually the screenshot took my a shot of my actual like uh chat on the side there. That's bullshit. Damn. I just wanted a cool looking picture of it, but whatever. It works, it's fine. Uh, we all know mice hats, bro. Exactly. Thank you, Mickey. You know how it be. Yeah, man, there is the, uh, yep, that's what I thought would happen. It is literally, and I really do mean literally, a slideshow for my stream right now. What? And it's not like this world is, like, insane or anything. <sighs> well, to be fair, I just, I'm getting 30 FPS right now. Over really? Here. I'm sitting at 70. Mind you, I'm also in desktop. But still. It's fair. I enjoy slideshow anyways. Yeah, but it's low quality. And it's bullshit. Because even back in the day, using Streamlabs with my shitty computer that was literally caught fire twice... Maybe look away from the fire. Yeah, but then what's the point of being in a world with a fire? Let's see. It might work, but I doubt it'll matter. Oh, God. It's literally a slideshow. Yeah, it's literally not helping. All right, fuck it. Back to that box world we go. Fuck. New instance. Invite plus drop portal. That's a go. Uh, my fucking life, dude. Oh, I turned it to nighttime, by the way. I don't know if you guys did that. Alright, let's see if this works. Hopefully it does. Should work. I don't know. It looks like it's working a little better. So, oh god, this is what we're doing. All right, let me get down here. All right, I think I can position you guys to be decent on screen. Mm. That'll work. Why not? Good enough. <laughs> <sighs> the struggle is real, my guys. But this is the world we're living in tonight. Hey, careful, not to, careful not to burn your hands on this hyper-realistic campfire. I've just found. <laughs> Fair enough. I will try not to. <laughs> Alright, so. Would we like to tell our scary stories now? Alright, let me change the music a little bit to... There's got to be something that's more spooky on here. You know what? Let's just look up, like, Halloween on Spotify. If I get copyright striked, I get copyright striked. Fuck it. Uh, wait, what if I put in copyright free? Let's see. I doubt there will be anything. Nope. Uh, let's just type in copyright free and see what comes up. We'll go playlists. We'll see. There's gotta be one that's like spooky right now. There's gotta be. Are you you okay over there, buddy? It's fine. Don't worry about me. Nothing okay. happened. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Uh. 
Uh, there's got to be something. The lo-fi and chill hop. No, I want like spooky shit. Come on. Copyright free workout. No copyright lo-fi. No copyright music for Twitch. Can you just give me spooky scary? Spooky scary skeletons. Pretty sure that's copywritten. Oh, I'm a hundred percent sure that one is. Oh yeah. Hmm. I'm honestly like, oh, whatever. Fuck it. Fuck it. All right. If I end up getting copyrighted straight, I will cry, but I don't really care. Because this is going to go up on YouTube anyway, so I'll just delete the VOD rather than saving it to my channel. Actually, you know what? If I'm going to do that, I'll turn off Spotify. All right, hold up. And then just let me get it. Oh, fuck. Where's my mouse? All right, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't find the damn cursor. <laughs> All right, let me let me throw up on YouTube and grab the one that I was listening to before. All right, that should work. Hopefully, it's not too loud. Uh, where the fuck's my mouse? There it is. All right, cool. All right, fuck. I'll become tiny too then. All right, well, we're all just gonna be smidgets. All right, what's up? Look at this. Look at this right here. This little baby getting his head bapped by this motherfucker. I'm playing it like the bong goes. It'd be that way. All right, so who wants to tell? Are you, though? That's what the instrument would say. I could just take this umbilical cord and strum it like a guitar. He does have a point. He could do that. He's not wrong. I don't know what sort of sound you would receive from that, however, I don't think it would be pleasant. Yeah, it's gonna say like a gut-wrenching scream or something. Remind me to try whenever I have a baby. <laughs> when you have a baby, you're going- oh my god. I like the cut of your jib. Alright, hold on, let me... Where the fuck is my thing at? Gonna get some weird looks, but it'll be way well worth it. I'm a little confused as to why things are fucked up. Why? Why can my like shit just not be broken? Like that would be so much nicer. Uh, you know, my fucking life at this point. Just grab this from that. There, now it's doing the music instead of my voice. Good enough. And I forgot to fucking hide preview. Alright, now we'll get rid of our scuffness and we'll hope for the best. So who wants to tell a spooky scary story first? And I like the IRL like real stories, not like no fake shit. There's literally two of you guys. Hell yeah, I would love to hear your stories. Heard all of mine. Yeah, but not necessarily stream though, right? So we'll get we'll get your story first. Fair enough. So I suppose I can talk at least a little bit about what was probably the most haunted place that I've ever been to. It was a friend of mine's house. But she always complained that it was super fucking haunted and I never believed her. Until one day she said, Why are you cheap for yourself, motherfucker? Since I can't mail you a slice, might as well help you buy a pizza instead. Pizza instead. <laughs> Guido, thank you for the dollar. I appreciate it. <laughs> Alright. Carry on, Carrie. So anyway, so I, yeah, I go to her house. 
fucking place is goddamn ancient. Mm -hmm. Built, I think she said something like 150 years ago. So quite mm -hmm. old. Mm -hmm. But anyways, we're chilling. And the first thing that I started to hear was... It sounded like a low conversation from another room with three or four different people's voices that he could distinctly make out. It was really... You weren't able to hear what they were saying, but you could tell it was different people. So I'm like, okay, that's pretty fucked. Yeah, that's a little off. Then the footsteps started. And I hit you not, it sounds like there was someone walking around on the second story of the house. So I fucking book ass up there. No one there. And she's like, yeah, this is the shit that happens all the fucking time. And it was really just more of that until I get ready to leave. And as I'm leaving, I turn to say goodbye to her, who is standing in her driveway. And from behind the house leans out what I can only describe as a shadow, looks at me, and then dives back behind the house. Yeah, that's and I told her what I saw, and she's like, yep, that happens sometimes. They like to peek around corners at you. And I'm like, fuck me. Yeah, that's... So that's, uh, that's that was fucked. Yeah. It was uh, very fucked. Yeah, I know I've had, uh... Like, I, I've, again, I've told my stories. I don't remember you telling me that one, though, before. Um, oh, I thought I had... Not. Yeah, but there's a, like the, the shadow person spirit thing that's, you know, in my current apartment that every night, because of how my desk was set up, I could, there was like a, like a, I sectioned off part of my room just for, you know, my computer and whatnot. And I'd always see something out of the corner of my eye leaning around the, the wall that I put up out of like foam and shit. And whenever I'd look, it always dart back behind it. And then I wouldn't see anything if I leaned around, so I was like, what the fuck? And then, like, not even a minute later, usually, from farther down the hall that I could see, because, like, it's right next to my kitchen, because um, my office area is in the, the dining room. Uh, and the way my apartment is, you can see the the door to my apartment, um, or, I guess, out of my apartment into the hallway, um, from, like, the dining room. And there's like, a wall there, right next to where the oven is, sectioning off, you know, the kitchen from the entryway and I would see it then afterwards always leaning from there because it would try and get really close initially and then it would always go farther away and it was always like really weird because like if I glanced over at it it would always duck around the corner but my cat like always sits in like the corner of the one room like in the entryway and just meows at the wall like all the fucking time it's why like you'll hear me be like Dexter shut up all the fucking time right just because he's meowing at exactly where it is and there's nothing there whenever I'm looking and I don't see a dart behind but like he never meows when it's actually there which is really weird to me so but like every time he starts like meowing into that corner he's like on a mission to get out of the apartment and so like the one night we we're like all right you know what it's 3 a.m. there's no one in this hallway let's open up the door and see where he wants to go and immediately, he was, like, on a mission where he was going. Because, like, we've taken him out the hall just, like, randomly before. And he'll just, like, glance around, like, I don't know where I am. And he does, like, that weird, like, cat slinking type thing. You know, where he's, like, I don't, I'm not a, oh, no. But, like, he was just, like, nope, I know where I'm going. Let's go get this shit. And I was, like, where the fuck? And he went right towards, like, the, the stairwell. Um, luckily, there was a door there. So, you know, I didn't lose my cat going down the fuck. And he's dumb enough that he would just jump through the bars in the middle and just fall nine stories. So, <laughs> He's not a break cat. So I was like, this is fucking weird. So I was like, yeah, if he does that again, let's put the collar in. Like, because we've, not a, car, a collar, sorry. Like, we've got a harness and leash that we have for the cats. So like, let's throw that on him and see where he goes. That way he doesn't, you know, run off somewhere. So, but that's like the closest thing to that that I've got. Other than like, occasionally seeing like shadows and shit everywhere. But that's a different thing entirely. Like, they're not like shadow shadows. They're like the, the creature that I've told you about. 
Yeah. Actually, speaking of that. Yeah, it's possible. Like, the one that's been following me since I was a kid. Um, I never talked to my mom about it, right? I've talked to my dad, but, you know, my mom is, for lack of better phrasing, your average white woman, you know? And, you know, my dad's oh, yeah. part native, right? So my dad's more in tune with, like, the native side of himself type thing. So I talked to my dad more about spirit type shit. But I guess uh, my mom is more understanding of that kind of thing. And, I, like, I guess that makes sense, like... She believes in ghosts, so, but I just never thought to talk to her about the, like, thing that's been, you know, following me all my life, but I told her about it, it was either yesterday or the day before, and she was like, well, you know what you gotta do then, right? And I was like, what? She's like, well, that's definitely a native thing. And I was like, how the fuck do you know this? Um, hey, how's it going, Kira? Welcome to the stream, bro. Um, so, she was like, well, I, you explained it, right? I was like, well, yeah, and I was like, well, I think it's this thing, and it's, you know, from Native American lore. She's like, then you just got to find a Native American healer and see if they're willing to help you. Because, you know, I know they don't really want to be a part of, like, that juju normally because that's kind of bad vibes and that it can attach to them. But, you know, if you want it to go away, you might as well talk to a healer of some kind, right? Or, like, a leader or something. And I was like, well, at this point, I'm not really afraid of it or anything. So she's like, it almost seems like it's just been watching you grow up, like, because the forest that it would have come from isn't there anymore. It has nowhere else. So it's just attached itself to you. Right? I was like, yeah, it's the way I see it too, right? And then we had like conversation about it. It was pretty interesting. I was like, wow, my mom's actually a lot more understanding of this than I thought. So. It was odd. But, you know, I'm not going to complain about my mom actually listening, you know, about something that's been there in my life that's a little alarming you know indeed yeah. i don't believe i ever told my parents about the one that seems to follow me we'll tell the class no, about it Come no on. that's not true i did when i was younger and they didn't believe me i mean they're never gonna believe a kid though right because then they're like oh it's just his imaginary friend or some shit I'm pretty sure they said that yes, that it was my imagination. But here's the thing, I started seeing it when I was pretty young, before I even knew what the fuck a shadow person was. And it would just stand next to my bed at night, even like I could look at it full on at that point, and it wouldn't move. Now it hides from me. It used to not. So in other words, you intimidate it in some way now. Apparently. Because, like, maybe you're able to be a threat to it in some way. Because, like, usually kids aren't. This is like, I don't know, for lack of a better way of putting it, I could take a kid, you know, probably can't take an adult, you know, like. <laughs> yeah, like. Yeah, exactly. Just doesn't mean I'm going to win, right? But I'm pretty certain I'll win against a kid. Right. Not always certain I'm going to win against an adult. So this this thing is what probably just like, oh, I can beat up this kid if it tries to fuck with me. Right. But it's like, oh, he's an adult now. I ain't fucking with that. You know, like, it's probably the way it sees it. It's just got logic. That's all. <laughs> oh. It was weird, though. I hated it. It would just fucking stand there at the side of my bed and watch me. Like, did it have a face or anything, or just, like, straight up just a shadow? Nope. It was literally like a featureless outline that was darker than the rest of the darkness in my room. Yeah, that's really alarming. Did you ever try asking it if it wanted to join you in bed? No! I was... freaking like... Eight. <laughs> Oh, yes. <laughs> that reaction. Rel just makes dumb comments. Oh, man. But, Rel, do you really not have, like, any, like, encounters with anything spooky? Oh, I have a few, but they're not, like, especially scary. Just, like, weird shit that's happened. It's not, like... It's a little spooky. Yeah, like real quick ones. 
All right, well, tell us. We want to hear it. Come on, man. Spooky, scary IRL stories. Okay. So, one time after my grandma died, me and my mom were down in this little dining area we have, and there was this air freshener sitting on the, um, on this little counter we had. And we were sitting there talking, like standing pretty far away from the air freshener. And then suddenly and out of nowhere, that air freshener lifts up and then just flies across the room at like 20 miles an hour. Jesus. Someone yeah, needed the air freshener, hard. man. And then like a week later, I was, I, my, my parents used to be in this bowling league. So they were, they were gone that day. And I was home alone, and I went to take a shower in the bathroom. I I go in the shower and close the door. And then it was like someone grabbed the door handle and then just shook it really hard. Hmm. I stayed in that bathroom for two hours. <laughs> I mean. Then then I tried. Then I tried shaking the doorknob from the outside to see if it would do the same effect. Yeah. It didn't. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, it was at that moment I knew I fucked up. <laughs> yeah, I'd be like, oh god. That is. That's a whole lot of no bueno. <laughs> like, oh no. <laughs> it was not ideal. Yeah, I know that I've had. Next time I'll ask. <laughs> oh god. Unless it was my grandma, in which case that would be weird. It's a ghost grandma, it doesn't count. What are you doing, step grandma? <laughs> See, when I, was, when, I was, when I was younger and my other grandma died, I, I used to, apparently, my mom says I used to see her around my room all the time. I don't fucking remember that. But she she turned the TV off and shit and the lights. It was a whole thing. She just took care of you, yeah. That's great. I mean... I mean, in some ways, that's comforting. I yeah. feel like there are different types of presences one might encounter. And the ones that are family members are usually quite nice. Yeah. Like, there was the... Oh, yeah, there was that one time... Oh, go ahead. This, this the same week as the, the air freshener doorknob. I was going to the bathroom at like 3 a.m. And I looked up before there's a mirror, right? You have to look at the mirror before you turn the light on. And I looked at the mirror and just before I, my my like finger flicked the light switch, there was a shadow person behind me and I'm like <laughs> Nope, I suddenly don't need to use the washer anymore. Uh <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm hey. <laughs> <laughs> right on the floor. Oh man, sorry about the post over there. I didn't mean to do it. But yeah, Auntie, welcome to the stream. How's your day going? We're gonna uh, talk about spooky, scary shit. But uh, yeah, I uh, I remember it wasn't the apartment. I mean, oh, it might have been this apartment. Okay, so I, I had another apartment just before this one, so some of like, the memories kind of blend together because I was there for a few months before I moved in here. But in any case, it was either in the one I'm in right now or the one just before because uh, literally they're identical apartments. Like, <laughs> so everything is the exact same. Um, the I just moved buildings because, you know, whatever. Um, so I was in the shower. And I had this really strange feeling behind me. And, you know, ever since I was a kid, like, I've always been in tune with, you know, like, the that kind of shit, right? Like, you know, being Native and being raised around people that were super into spiritual shit. Like, um, I knew some Wiccan friends. Uh, I knew a girl that was some form of practicing pagan, but something else as well. I don't know. Um, and, like, you know, obviously, being Native, there's that part. Um, I was always researching stuff and just you know, trying to get to know what I can. And I, I feel like there's like a type of energy that I've always put off that things can't get close to me, right? And when they do, it's because something either traumatic has happened and like my defenses are down kind of feeling or like there's some form of external thing that caused it. So 
Oh, man, if you're going to change into a smaller avatar, you want to get a little bit closer so I can see both of you. Um, yes, sir. Thank you, brother. Um, but yeah, so I've always had like this kind of energy, but it was weird because it felt like it was right next to me. And I'm like, normally stuff is at least like five feet away. And that's like usually the closest things can get. And I was like, it felt like something just was coming through the wall just above like my head. But like, can you stop stroking his umbilical cord? Oh, I will. <laughs> um, but like, yeah, that's what it's just. Yeah, all right. Um, so I was like in the shower and well, I keep my eyes closed when I'm in the shower because, well, I rely off my hearing more than anything anyways. So, you know, whatever. I don't really need to see when I'm in a shower, right? I'm not going anywhere. And I could feel this presence. Like, it felt like it was coming through the wall, but like an arm first and then a head. That's just like the, like the sensation I got, you know? Like it was leaning behind me about like a foot back and almost like, I'd say like half a foot to a foot above my head, right? So it felt like something was just creeping out of the wall behind me. So like, I opened up my eyes and I realized that like, the lights were off in the bathroom and I'm like what the fuck like I don't shower in the dark right and I'm like okay this is creepy so I kind of like and like I tried to like quote unquote like focusing energy for lack of better phrasing right of just like get this away like push outwards type feeling and it literally felt like it, like it almost feels like I'm putting out like a like a bubble around me kind of thing but it felt like something pushed backwards onto it and I felt so fucking alarmed because, like, this doesn't happen to me. So, me being the dumbass I am, I just turn and look directly where it is because, you know, it's behind me. But I'm like, I'm going to stare this fucker down and prove a point. And when I did, I saw nothing except what looked like possibly a fingertip go into the wall. But it's already so dark in that room that I could have just been imagining that, right? So, I was like, yeah, that's not cool. So, I go over to the light and I turn it, you know, off and on and off and on and... You know, when I turned it off and turned it back on, it was fine. But the light switch was still up when I turned it off, right? And I was like, ooh, not really on board with this. Felt kind of weird. But I was like, I still got a shower, right? I'm not going to finish showering in the dark with that feeling. But, you know, like, got to keep my eyes open from now. And, uh, yeah, I just, that was only one time that ever happened. But it was so fucking alarming because, like, shit doesn't get close to me. Because, like, I almost feel like that the... Like the, it's possibly a goat man, whatever the fuck it is, actually. The thing has been following me my whole life. I've always felt like it kind of kept other things away, usually. Um, even though it seems like it's going after me, it feels like it's kind of like, you know, you don't want to hunt the same thing as, like, a lion, because it'll fuck you up as well, you know? Like, it was that kind of feeling. So, I've never had anything get that close, and I was like, what the fuck? And who knows, maybe it was even that thing, but it didn't feel like the same kind of presence. So, I mean, it was very, very alarming. But that was like, I don't know, a year or two ago. So, I don't know. Nothing like that's happened since, though, in the washroom. So, and other than my, like, random fear of mirrors, you know, nothing really has happened in this apartment. Like, other than, you know, like the little shadow dude that peeks around corners and shit, but I don't really count that because he hasn't done anything malicious. It's just kind of like, seems inquisitive, you know, and it doesn't feel like the same kind of presence as from the bathroom, so. Because it's the one from the bathroom, it, it, you know when you feel like you're being like, stalked or hunted, you know, like, you know that something is going after you or staring at you from behind, it felt like that, like, that, like, unnerving fear of like I'm going to be attacked but like this little like this shadow figure thing I see around the corner I never feel that with it just kind of weirded out by it but you know not afraid so yeah that's I don't know you, you saying the thing about the shower just reminded me of that because I, I don't know if I've talked about that one on stream before or not Yeah, there's there's all sorts of spooky shit, man. Little spooky, scary shit. I love that. Man, it feels weird doing a stream without an energy drink. But what, you're telling me you haven't drank five of them. 
Right. No, I've only had one today. I literally can't afford anything right now, man. That's why. Yeah. Like, straight up broke as fuck, homie. So there's you know, there's another benefit of needing to move back in with the parents, I guess. Because I can, like, focus on streaming and I can focus on making my videos again and my health and, you know, get back into the groove of everything. I still owe Ketter, you know, boudoir, maid dress photo shoot, but we, no, we, we literally couldn't find that maid dress. Yeah, like, I still have to do the maid dress stream and all that. You would have gotten out of it, you hear that? No, I, I literally have all of the, um, subathon stuff and, like, any other sub goals that we've done written down, and I plan to get them all done, it's just, well, number one, like, my life kind of went to shit, right? Like, I haven't had the mental capacity to do things you know like i've like been on that like teetering scale of like there's the balcony that's jump you know so but luckily i know not to do that so smart enough to have the self-control to not do but it's it's just been hard for a long time now and then having everything else get stacked on top of that with like the girlfriend dumping me and needing to move and literally give up everything that's my life essentially, you know, like it just makes it even harder. So that's why I'm like, yeah, I need to focus on me when I move back in with my parents. Like I need to focus on me. Like I want to focus on my physical health. I want to like work on my mental health and shit. So I just want to get back on track give some structure to my life with like a schedule and everything so and i just want to you know not be like this you know like i'm not okay <laughs> but i want to be so i'm gonna have to focus on that now that's a down note sorry about that i'm going for spooky scary not like super depressed though so like yeah yeah. Ain't got no money, so I can't get energy drinks. Yep. <laughs> that's to be taken away from that. <laughs> that that's that's going to be a scary part of it all. Yep. Scariest part is being I poor. Can't drink energy drinks anymore. A guaranteed panic attack. Oh, shit. That's not fun. Yeah. It hurts. Yeah, that kind of guaranteed. That would be, like, terrible. The only way I get panic attacks is... Like, when I get a paper cut, because I have a phobia of paper cuts. Oh, it's just stupid. I've literally been stabbed twice before, I... and I'm afraid of paper cuts. <laughs> like, I you want to talk about being a bitch. I stand next to dead babies. Run. <laughs> oh, oh. That was, oh. Oh, that's alarming. Nice. No, see, I've played The Witcher. It's not that bad. <laughs> Even though I know full well it's just another dead baby. <laughs> I know it's just another dead baby. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if that's the proper phrasing that you should use, but... I mean, you're right. <laughs> oh my god, his eyes move. Yeah, I'm... You're damn right, they do. Uh... <laughs> Shoots him. That's literally what he did when my buddy had, like, he turns and faces his crasher at him, right? And he's like, Yeah, you want to get you wanna get shot, right? And he's like, Wait, is that a crash after? Yeah. And points it at him. He's just like, <gasps> Steps back with a Nerf gun. I was like, Well, if it works. It got all of us laughing, though. I think that's actually how Rel and I became friends, was that. Yeah, it was literally the exact day. I yeah, I think like I just friended you just before that, but that cemented the friendship for sure. <laughs> you know, this is really like, ugh. I can make ugh. It weirder. Oh no! And how would you do that? Oh god, who the fuck's messing with me? Oh no, not this again. Oh man. 
Is that one even a baby? That just looks like a tentacle monster. I mean... It's a baby if it's brand new. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It, it can be yeah, your baby if you take care of it. If you take care of it, I feel like I saw this exact monster in a head tie earlier today. What the fuck were you no watching? <laughs> He's like, wait, you know exactly where I got it from? Shit. Uh, he's on. The struggle be real. Oh, well. Yeah, Ketter, do you... Anyway, scary stories. Yeah, let's get back to some scary stories. Uh, Metallic, what's up, man? You want to come join us? We're talking about spooky, scary stories and shit. But, yeah, I want to... I told you guys about me wanting to, like, Bigfoot hunt at some point, right? Yeah, because, like, I think it'd be funny if just, like, randomly I decided, you know what, like, get one of those, like, super fancy, like, ways to, like, stream. Like, my buddy wants to make it so he's always got internet with him, like, with a, one of those weird, like, uplink backpack things. And I was like, yo, that'd be dope as fuck to take that and then get, like, multiple, like, GoPros and have it all hooked up with, like, some form of, like, laptop with, like, some type of generator or something. Like, or not generate, but like a high battery source, like maybe like a, a UPS or something in the backpack. And then just like go Bigfoot hunting with like multiple angles around you. So you got like a GoPro on the top of your head. You got like one on your shoulder facing behind you, you know, one on your other shoulder facing like the one side. Like I think, and then having all of that set up on screen would be really fucking cool. You wouldn't be able to like really talk to your chat unless you had like another phone in front of you or something to be able to read chat, but. It'd be really neat. And I was like, yo, just Bigfoot hunt streamer. I think that'd be fucking cool. It certainly would be an interesting concept. Yeah. All right. Oh, oh yeah, we've got a story in chat. Uh, story in chat. Anti oh has God, yeah. a story in chat. So let me get ready to read this. And hopefully I don't butcher any words that might be in it. So it says... Uh, oh god, I have to like angle this a little bit different so I can actually see it because your avatar is. I'm just gonna go over here because your avatar is like bright as fuck and his is dark, so this will work if I just put you both on screen this way. Alright. I've got a spoopy story. I wasn't born yet, but there's video proof, and my brother still has the scar on his back. Long ago, my family lived in a duplex, and from video from moving in shows a random ball rolling across a doorway and a few night of my sister complaining of noises and videos of family events with that small ball or same ball rolling in the background then one night my brother was batshit screaming and there's no video bloody why are you saying no video what does no video mean like screaming bloody i don't know uh, a hospital picture of his back with three long scars on his back uh, lo and behold that ball in the background a few weeks later my fan moves out duplex demolished yeah i mean that's fair I mean, some asshole demons there. Oh, no video of him screaming. Got you. Yeah. I mean, fuck that demon up, man. Just take away his home. Make him homeless. That's what he gets for being a bitch. Fucking demon. <laughs> That's what he gets for being a doo-doo head. Yeah, you be a dick, you lose your home. That's how it works, Mr. Demon. No? Yeah, no? No. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, whatever. Fuck. Um, I don't know. Ketter, you've got more stories though, right? Oh, of course. All right, let's hear them. I mean, we've discussed the shadow being that I see from time to time. Yeah, we just discussed that a little bit ago. There's got to be more. But I have. Let's see. We can talk about my grandmother's house and why I never slept there after a certain point. Oh, I think you did tell me about this one. Let's hear this one. Yeah. So, my grandmother's house, I am convinced, was haunted as fuck. But I don't know by who, because here's the thing. <laughs> no one ever died there. And she and my grandfather built the house. Hmm. So what the fuck was going on there, I'm not entirely sure. They just pissed Maybe off the demon. On an Indian reserve. I mean, technically, everything That's is Indian burial ground, so. 
So Auntie says, you do know when a demonic entity loses its tie to the world and attaches itself to the next nearest object of guilt. Um, I believe that's only according to, what is that, like the Catholic understanding of demons and Christian understanding? Not like the general understanding according to like most other things. Right? I'm pretty sure. Because like most other things, it's like demons just do whatever the fuck they want. They aren't attached to anything. And they say like... They literally go to fuck with you to fuck with you. Pagan understanding. Uh, I'm going to have to disagree on that one. Yeah, I don't think so. Like, I was raised around, like, pagan and Wiccan people. And I'm pretty sure none of them have said anything like that. But, you know. All right, carry on with your story, though, Ketter. So anyways, I had a number of experiences in her home, and they all kind of happened in the same room of her house. And the, they all took place while I was trying to sleep in said room, because it was a bedroom, it was a guest room that she had. I mean, she had five kids, so you know lot of extra guest rooms once uh, they all moved out. So anyways, the, the first experience I ever had, I was laying in bed at night, you know, I was reading a book or some shit with a, you know, my flashlight. And all of a sudden, a ball of light from over the... My shoulder, next to the bed, comes out of the fucking wall, flies through the door, out the hall, and down the stairs. And I'm like, what the fuck did I just see? What the fuck was that? Another yeah, that's not alarming. <laughs> no, not at all. I'm, uh, I'm sleeping in the room. And, you know, I wake up, and there's a shadow figure at the end of the bed. And as soon as I was fully conscious, this thing, I, I want to say runs, but it wasn't so much of a run as it was, like, folding into itself, into, there's, in the room, there was this opening to a crawl space that runs the length of, you know, the second floor. Runs in there and disappears, and I hear shit moving around in there for the rest of the night. And I'm like, okay, great. Um, I I'm should explain this. To die. That would be had, fantastic. Like, all of my, you know, aunts and uncles and moms old, like, toys that my grandma had kept. And that's the shit that I heard moving around in there all, the rest of the night. That was fucking weird. Yeah, that would be a little weird. Alright, I'm gonna be right back if you guys don't mind holding down the fort. You can keep telling the story, um, because I'm pretty sure you've told me this one before. I just need to rinse my cup because I had chocolate milk in it and I don't want that standing milk up. So, I will be back in just a moment. Hello, Hello Trash Mouse! Hello. Hello! We are, uh, telling scary stories for stream. Oh my, yeah. scary stories, huh? Hmm. Yeah, Ketter's in the middle of one right now, if you'd like to join us. What is that? Oh my god, what is that thing? Uh, that that's is, a gamer. That is Ketter. Yeah, that's a, that's a pro gamer right there. I, um, I'm mildly disturbed by yeah. looking at this thing. Alright, this is the most calm thing he's been tonight. I am, um, okay. I mean, he could. He really could. <laughs> what in the actual fuck am I looking at? <laughs> this is a very tame thing for Cutter. 
we'll all be ogres. Okay, I. Okay, this is I can't my son. That anymore. That is horrible. That's even worse. This is my son. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I, I can't look at it anymore. Alright, you do you, fam. Yeah, we're just telling scary stories on stream right now. So. Hey, that's the cat I know. This is the normal. Well, anyways, Trash Mouse, how's it been, bro? It's been a while. Uh, been better. I'm alive. But, you know, as I just said, we're doing You're something. Alive. So, hey, yeah, except the oh, other see, yeah, you wanted to join. I can, uh, I can come back next time, all right? Well, I was just saying, you could join us if you wanted, but, you know, we're, we're in the middle of something. Nah, I'm good, bro. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna hop around. I like to move around a lot. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. You have fun. See you later, homie. All right, boop. You have a good one, Trashy. Boop, 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 doo, 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 doo. I don't think he can fire things if it's plugged. Anyway. Yeah. All right. You do that while I, uh, real quick, go and rinse this cup. But I will be back literally within moments. There we go. So, anyways, um, the next experience that I remember was what I finally used to convince my grandma that something fucking weird was happening in her house. It was another night I was staying there, and it was just me and her in the house, and it was probably about midnight. And all of a sudden, I start smelling coffee being made. And I'm like, what the fuck? So I'm walking around in the room. Fucking, the whole place smells like coffee. I lied, I need to pee. So finally, I go down the stairs to check and see, like, is my grandma up? Is she making coffee? Like, what the fuck's going on? Get downstairs to the kitchen where her only coffee maker is. Coffee maker's all. Whole fucking house smells like coffee. And, uh, I'm like, okay, well, this is fucking weird. Went back upstairs to bed, passed out, woke up the next morning, and I asked my grandma, Hey, did you smell coffee last night? And she's like, yeah, I thought you'd gotten up and were making coffee or something. And I'm like, no. I got up to check and see, like, what the fuck was going on, because the whole fucking house smelled like coffee. And she goes, huh? Yeah, that's pretty weird. And then after that, she stops noticing things. So the rest of this is stuff that she's told me she's seen in her house. After all of this has happened. Uh, so far, she has told me that she's seen, like... I don't know how to s describe this, but... Or rather, I'll describe it the way that she described it to me. So you know... Barcode scanners. Well, she's sitting in her fucking room, in her little sitting room, one night, and all of a sudden, on the wall, what she described as like, you know, the barcode scanner, like that, like someone was pointing one at the wall, just shows up on the wall. Now, she's thinking, okay, well, maybe someone's shining something in my window, but she doesn't have a window that's facing that wall. And the one window in the room that she was in had curtains covering it. So nothing could have been coming through the window. And she was confused as all holy hell. Um, and then, after that, she started describing random things going missing for long periods of time. And then she'd find them in weird places. For instance, she has a front living room that she never uses unless she has company over. And, you know, she's fucking, well, at the time she was, you know, 70 years old, arthritic, can barely move. You know, she's not an athletic woman. But she'd find shit stashed on top of the bookshelf, you know, that's A, taller than her, and B, she needs a step stool to even try and reach the top of. Stuff that would go missing would end up on top of that bookshelf. Well, so that was fucking weird. But she's moved out of the house now, and someone else owns it. Hmm. 
Also, welcome to the stream, Taco Lolly. Yes, we're doing spoops tonight. We're doing uh, spooky, scary shit because even though I should stream on Saturday, um, because, you know, I stream Monday, Wednesday, Saturday, uh, and that's Halloween, um, I'm moving on Saturday, so I probably won't have my computer set up. <laughs> so, yeah. So we're doing our scary stuff tonight. Yeah, that that's that's spooky, dude. I literally got here for like the the ending half of that. Yeah, I I I don't know if you guys heard me when I said it, but I was like, I lied. I need to pee, so I went to the washroom. I did not catch that bit. Yeah, I was like, I'll be back in just a few moments, and then I came back over and was like, uh, yeah, I lied. I gotta pee. I'll be back. <laughs> so. I was like, I just gotta go, man. So, I ran. I ran to go pee. But, you know, that's life. I'm living it. I'm alive. I put on, like, spooky ambiance shit. For, like, my stream. So, it's, like, crickets and shit. And, like, wind and scariness. And, like, whoosh type shit. It's spooky. Hopefully it's not too loud in my stream, but, you know. Kinda looks like it is. You know, I think this one's way scarier than the baby. See, I've never found this one scary. Like, it startled me a couple times when he, like, you know, purposely tried to. But, like, this is my default when I think of Keter. Like how I think of that when I think of you, I think of this when I think of Ketter. Most people do when they think of me, think of this. Yeah, well, it's because it's what you it's wear the most. It's right, a crime, so. if you will. Yeah. Oh, man. Actually, fun fact about the Shabbatar I recently upgraded it so that it no longer needs to. A light source to be able to see in worlds that are dark. Oh god. So literally, <laughs> you can just see that thing from far away. Also, is it from that one weird, like, almost Pac-Man game? Yes, it is. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. Because, like, I haven't played that game, but, like, I saw Gura was playing it, and it was in one of the thumbnails, I was like, that's gotta be it. That couldn't just be a coincidence that those look similar. So, figured I would ask. It is not. It is ripped from that game and then converted for use here. Of course, I did add the antlers. Yeah. I know you've changed it up a bit. Yeah. But, like, the base. Man, speaking of bases, unrelated entirely to spooky, scary stuff, I really want a live 2D model. Like, 3D, like, VTuber is cool and all, but, like, I want a live 2D model. But I'm like, bruh, I gotta figure that out. I gotta get better at art and then do live 2D and set it all up. Because it's not hard to set up, it's just, you know, setting up. <laughs> That's the hard part, you know? So. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah, I figured it. I just need to get better at art. Oh, which apparently I'm not terrible, but I've never been good at digital art. Like, I'm good at photoshopping, but not, like, you know, actual art art on... <laughs> I don't even know what happened to my tablet. It's somewhere around here. I don't mean to brag, but one time I drew a perfectly straight sick figure, and that was the best of it. I mean, that's a pretty hard brag right there, dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> don't know if I can compete with that. All right. Uh, one time at band camp. Oh, no. I didn't it's know if a fucking tuba could fit there. Brave I'm not a brave man. <laughs> I'm not. Fair enough, then. But yeah. That's <laughs> scary okay. shit right there. Nani? Alright, let's see who else is on. Maybe we can get more people to join us for uh, Spooky Scaries. Hmm. You never know. It's the attack of the walking tubas. Go oh, to band no. camp and then tubas come to life and eat people. 
I'm gonna write that down. Next we have published our episodes. I wouldn't say that, but yeah. No. <laughs> Just like, alright, well, fuck you then. I don't want to know what's up with Booker's avatar. Oh, God. Oh, I know, but the angle. Yeah, that's fair. And trust me, I know exactly what that custom Nanachi looks like. I I think I know that Nanachi better than most people. We're just gonna leave it at that. Yep. Ketter knows why, that's why. <laughs> Alright, uh... I know precisely why. Yep. Alright, so Auntie's got more stories for us. For for this, some backstory. My left eye is glazed over because damage, and everything on my left side of view is grayish fog. Not too long ago, I was traveling into town, and I swear I saw a man in a suit standing at a bus stop. Not thinking of it, I keep going. An hour later, I start coming back and just looked at the bus stop, then it hit me. I can't see anything on my left side, so I wondered how I saw that man earlier, but still ignoring it, I head home. I think there's more of it there, typing it in. That actually already sounds spooky enough. Be like, I can't see it of this eye, and I saw someone with this eye. That would be really fucking alarming. Like, I don't even know how I would react to something like that. I'm like, blind, but who's that? <laughs> yeah, why the fuck can I see you? Are you Jesus? <laughs> oh no. Hello, oh, Jesus. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna turn off the visualizer because it doesn't need to be there. Not for this type of sound. For music, yeah, but not for ambiance. I don't need a music visualizer for ambiance. <laughs> Almost makes sense, you know. Yeah. I invited a couple oh, of friends, no. but I don't know if they'll show up or not because, you know, VR chat being broken and all. Yeah, don't I know. I mean, right? Like, it's fucking VR chat. I expect it to be broken 99% of the time. When I opened the friends list a second ago, your thumbnail was Felix from ReZero instead of the avatar you are now. Well, seeing as I don't know who that is, it's definitely not that. <laughs> you know, you know the, 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 the trap? Yeah. Oh, right. Yes. Okay. I know yeah, you're talking about that's now. The one. Okay. Yep. I'm down for that. I mean, what? Yep. <laughs> oh, no. If you think I wouldn't suck a trap, you're very wrong. I mean, that's literally the whole point of it, isn't it? Exactly. Mm. And then you're like, surprise, bitch, I like dick, too. No. If it's no. a trap, and you know it's Get your trap, whatever, it's really owl, whatever its name is, away. Stop it. I don't want to, I don't want to be doing this. It's, well, a sophos or some shit. I don't know the actual name. I don't honestly either. I can just see him in the mirror. No heck. But it's funny, he's, he's behind my chat. Happens. Try me, bitch. Try me, bitch. See what happens. I'm looking to die. Because I can help you with that. Very B. Alright, what's this invite? Ari. I guess I'll accept Ari's invite to, or request the invite to come to this world. Oh, okay, so here's here's the rest of that story. A few days after that, I have to head back out. And there again, that man was. But this time, I look at him. He steps into the street and looks like he gets hit by nothing. Freaking out, I noped and went home. A few hours after, I'm like, fuck it, I'm hungry. So I head to that bus stop and a kid was there. No man in a suit. I'm talking to the kid. Then steps forward and gets killed by the bus. What the fuck? Holy shit, that'd be terrifying. Yeah, that's why. Imagine seeing a kid getting hit by a bus like, like that close to you? Oh no. I'd probably panic. 
Unless I didn't like the dude. Splash, so he might want to back up. Oh god, that's... <laughs> you guys are terrible. <laughs> Certainly not good. Oh yeah, but that's why we're friends. And Ari, she's just chilling here. Like I don't like this. But all right, all right. Do you have a spooky, scary story? No, I only have the same one I told last time. What a fucking loser. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> oh, man. Here, let me get you guys up on screen real quick while I tab out because I got a message from a buddy. Um, I wish. Oh, there's a space. I wish you luck. They're having computer problems, but they want to join us. I accept. Having more friends join us. I don't know how, but these pants still keep riding right up my fucking ass. And I'm not even, like, moving. They're just like, hey, guess what? We're gonna become floods and be halfway up your booty hole. And I'm like, I don't like this. Ugh. What's what doing up there? I mean, don't worry about it. It was just vibing, man. Yeah, sure. Please no. accept that as a funny joke. Something went up my ass and it's vibing. Come on, that's funny. Fuck you guys. Fuck you guys, that was good. <laughs> Shut up, you're a child. <laughs> such, such funny. <laughs> hey, what's up, Yuki? How's it going? We're uh, telling scary stories because I'm actually streaming for once. So, we're uh, what, what are you doing? spooky scary. How dare you? You're just getting bullied. Oh, okay, so here's here's more of that story that Auntie was sending. Uh, never since then, I see that man at... But it's by Coot Grill. Just enjoy. Is, is Coot Grill. Like, get me into the fucking mirror. All right, good. We'll just do this one instead. All right, fantastic. All right. Never since then, I see that man at the side of the roads every now and then. At spots where people had been hurt badly or killed. To this day, I think that man in his suit is an angel of death. Worst part, only from my left side. That is kind of fucked up. But, I mean, it's interesting, right? Like, at least you can tell where something's going to happen, so you can just tell people to get the fuck away from there. Like, almost makes sense, right? But, yeah. Yeah, Yuki, did you, do you have any spooky, scary stories you'd like to share with the class today? Everybody fucking lame nowadays. This one ain't got scaries. This one ain't got scaries. This one right here is the most scary thing is his grandma throwing shit at him. Oh my god. <laughs> it's Looking. crazy, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. My grandma does that right now and she's alive. Alright. <laughs> oh man. Oh. At least Ketter's got some interesting stories though. Ain't nobody got no spooky scary though. Also, uh, Auntie, that's fair enough. Stories, one long spooky, scary story. Bro, I feel that. Like, I just feel like I can't live anywhere that's not haunted for some reason. Like, even as a kid, my house was haunted. But it was it was haunted by little kids. Like I've I've told you guys about it before. Like there was the little boy and the little girl. And like the little girl would occasionally play with me and my brother, but it was, you know, always just the little boy. And you know, the little girl just kind of usually just sat in the corner and just did her own thing. And my parents didn't really think anything of it. They thought we just had an imaginary friend that we played with. But then they would hear a boy and a girl as well that weren't us. Um, and they apparently would also talk. So my parents were like, all right, well, that's interesting. And they didn't really think much of it because they thought we were just doing voices or something. And then there was one day we were at a, like a friend's house or a grandparents or something. And my dad was just sitting there and they were watching TV in the living room. And for a moment, my dad kind of froze, and he turns and he looks at, uh, who the hell? Oh, did I make this one for invite plus instead of invite only? Ah, shit. Um, I don't know. Whatever. So, my uh, dad was sitting there watching TV with my mom in the middle of the night, 
because, you know, they're adults in their early 20s and they're just doing whatever the fuck they want. And then they decided, uh, you know, let's just pause this for a sec, right? So, like, they, they turned off the volume because my dad heard something. And my mom was like, what? And he's just like, just listen. And they could hear people walking around upstairs and then they could hear toys being moved and played with. So they get up and they go upstairs and my they cautiously go towards the bedroom and there was literally just like one of our toys just in the middle of the room making noise because it was one of the ones that had like batteries or some shit. And my dad was like, yeah, that's kind of weird. So he just politely asked them to, you know, quiet down because it's bedtime and then just nothing else later on that night. And that was when my parents for sure were like, yeah, our house is haunted. Neat. Oh my God. How many fucking people you guys invited? Oh my God. I should have made this invite only. Um, but it, what am I trying to say? Now, now, my, now you lost my fucking track. Like, bleh, my brain stopped working. Um, you guys just shut down my brain. What the hell? Um, Oh, yeah, spooky, scary shit that happened in my house. Yeah, essentially that's what it is. That's it, just got here, so once I eat uh, on your way, all right, take it easy, Mickey, I'll see you when I see you. Um, so who's the one that's, like, accepting invites for people right now? Because I don't want other people in this place that I don't know while I'm streaming. Yeah, I don't want other people I don't know here while I'm streaming. Because that's, you know, bad mojo. <laughs> But, um, well, I have no issues with that kind of stuff, but like, I, I'm more so only one of people I know, so. But, yeah, there is uh, all sorts of shit that used to happen in my old house. And I'm kind of sad that my parents don't live there anymore, because, like, they got fucked out of that house. Like,. The it wasn't anything like bad that was ever there, other than that fucking thing that's been chasing me my whole fucking life. But you know the it was like that was one of the few places that I used to call home, right? And now like it feels like I don't even have a home because like that was home for so long. And then once I moved out, it didn't necessarily feel like home anymore, but it was like reminiscent of it. And now my parents don't live there, and like home is my place, and I don't even have my own place anymore because. Well, where I am, right, in my living situation and everything that's happened. So, but there's all these, like, good and weird and sort of bad memories of there. But, you know, like, there was so much, like, just in general memories there. And, you know, even, like, the, the bit of haunting that was there and being chased by that fucking thing. That, that's still something that happened there. And I don't got that no more, you know. And, like, it's weird doesn't even look like the same house anymore because they changed it so much yeah uh, my best spooky story a streamer opens a portal to an invite only world and goes into it only to find out it is a public world and Uganda full of squeakers screaming the n-word uh, that would be pretty scary <laughs> that is the end of a streamer's yeah, career <laughs> Do you know the way, my Buddha? And then suddenly everyone transformed into Ugandan Knuckles. Do you know the way, my Buddha? Do you know the way? Do you know the way, my Buddha? This is what happens. My son, here is his picture. Oh God. Too sorry. Yeah, no worries. Um, let me go back to being boy. Yeah, just a little bit. Have you seen my son? <laughs> I want your son to not exist. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No, oh, well. I'm gonna call an oof on this one, though, boys. I'm, I'm gonna load up another world that has doesn't have people I don't know. So, I will send y'all invites. Yeah, I'm not really on board with that. Like, I don't... If people know that I'm streaming, like, why the fuck would you bring other people into the world that's fucked? Like, the hell? Uh, 
hate trying to find people on here. There, there we go. To the mirror we go. Oh yeah. Hopefully they actually got the invites. I don't know if they actually did or not, but hopefully. Oh man. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Wasn't really on. Sorry. Not really on board with just having randoms hop up. Yeah, Ketter has things happen to him, and we just accept it, all right? It is just, it is what it is. I had a chance to drop a trick portal. No, I don't do that. There's no point. All right, everyone, this is what happens when you sit on your nuts when you have a voice changer enabled. He's like, accurate. That's true, we're gonna have... That's exactly what it is. Oh god, oh god. This is exactly what it is. It's like. <laughs> okay, still. But it sounds I like that. Oh god. That's quite a. Uh, hmm. Well, it's something. <laughs> well, it's something. Oh god. Oh man, he's even shot a pew pew out of it. Why you gotta be like that? You got it. Hey, you broke him. You killed him. Look at this. I can't believe you. Put him into crab mode. I have assumed crab mode. What is? Why would you put him in crab mode? What is wrong with you, boy? Uh, voice mod with the dual voice one set to higher pitch and the other set to lower pitch. Uh, I'm pretty sure that he's not using voice mod, but something better, right? Oh no, that person is absolutely correct about what I'm using. Oh, I thought you used the like some other fucking shit. Like, something that allows you to, like, kind of do, like, this kind of shit with your voice, man. Like, you know. Hold on, let me just do that. And then, where you can, like, add weird modulation like this and make everyone feel really uncomfortable with how your voice moves around. And it gets really fucking wonky and it's really uncomfortable and it makes people sad. Well, you know, it's Halloween. The Lost it's Soul Voice is up now. Robot. I mean, that was kind of the whole point, yeah. I mean, if you want, I can do some EDM voice. How does that sound? It sounds like voice mode. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, me. Yeah, I'm not. I don't know. Eh. Not a big fan of like, I have voice mode, but I don't really touch it. More sinister. I can do that too. I mean, no, thank you. I like the natural Ketter with Ketter Alpha. Why did my jeans ride up past? Why? Why do they gotta get up in there? That's not what they're supposed to be. Easy solution. Move the jeans. No. Yes. It is a very simple and easy solution. Do what I do. Wear nothing. He's got the right idea. Uh... Yeah, not too sure about that one. Yeah, that's right. He'll be it now. Oh, God. He's wearing the mask and everything, too. Nothing but a trash bag. Hey, man, that was funny as fuck. It was pretty funny. Yeah. All right, well. I don't know what other spooky, scary stories I want to tell. Like, I know I really want to rent out this one camp with, uh... My buddy, because it's out in the middle of fucking nowhere. And I don't know if there's anything out there, but I think it'd be just neat to rent out the camp for like a week or something like that and go out with some buddies. And just, not that I could do that right now by any means, but probably within like some years or something, it'd be neat. Or just be able to find like a, a campground and go out camping. The only main reason that I, uh, um, only reason that I don't really want to go like normal camping, but to go there is because I know that place has cabins and I know that there's shit inside the cabins to barricade the doors just in case anything ever happened. So. <laughs> but. It'd be that way. My family owns not one, but two different hunting camps. And there's at least one or two high powered firearms at it, arms reach. Yeah, see, I live in Canada. We don't got high-powered firearms available usually. 
you have to be like an old person to own one for some reason because like i don't know just most old people i know have a firearm um or live out in the middle of but fucking nowhere and that's the only way you can get them other than that like it's really hard to get a, a license even just for like hunting and shit like you can get rifles and stuff here fairly easy but like at the same time they aren't the greatest Right, and also the pricing here is way cheaper, but nobody has a license really. So, and hunting rifles, like, it's not the same, you know. Like, you can't get anything like fancy that's high powered, really. So, a lot of people here use shit like, you know, archery more so, like compound bows, because those are incredibly easy to get here. Telling me you can't go buy a deagle at the corner store? No, man. You know how hard it is to even get a BB gun here? Like, fuck. Paintball guns are easy to get though. I mean, I actually know a store not too far from here where I can just go in, buy a katana and a deagle, and just walk out. <laughs> this guy's all set and ready. I can go, you know, to my local gun shop and basically tell them, hey, will you order whatever for me? And they'll be like, yeah, it'll be here in two weeks. See you then. It's well, I like guess a it's different. I don't know why they have any of these things. Yeah. Man, it's super easy to get, like, compound bows, arrows, and knives where I live. But, like, getting an actual, like, firearm or even, like, an, like a rifle, like an airsoft rifle is even hard. But, like, paintball guns are super easy to get, which I think paintball guns are more dangerous than BB guns, honestly. Like, just freeze the paintballs, <laughs> and that is way more dangerous. <laughs> You're firing shrapnel, right? I know you said hunting rifle, but your text thought punching rifle and Insta thought joker gun. Oh, God. Yeah, the subtitles don't seem to really like my voice too much. But, you know, they're helpful to a degree. Like, honestly, if my computer ran better, it would be better. We more so just use them for comedic effect because they don't always read everything correctly. But, yeah. Man, I. So I've been watching like some random YouTube videos today, um, and one was about like this. Um, am I still using the old, the same old PC? Technically, but also no. It's got a lot of new parts in it, but it's not the same. Like, the majority of the PC has been replaced, but for some like, I don't know what it is. I think it's honestly my hard drives that are causing me more issues than anything now, because like. I'm using an SSD, but when my computer boots up, it's slow as fuck. And I'm like, what the hell? It's an SSD. It's literally designed to not be slow as fuck. <laughs> but, I don't know. I'm thinking I'll just, like, go through all my files one of these days and just wipe everything that I don't need and then throw in as small of a hard drive as I can for shit that's, you know, necessary but doesn't need to be used. And then just optimize this PC as much as possible. Same issue as me. Deep reverb voice fucks with it. Um, yeah, honestly, it, it's, it's not the greatest, but it works, but I got new parts, but they aren't new, right? Like they're, they're used parts and some of them have issues. So, but it's better than what I had. So it actually like turns on, so I can't complain about the computer parts I've got. And if anything does end up happening with this, I do have the gaming laptop that Vaughn sent me. So which should be able to sort of stream. It should be able to do at least like my just chatting streams. So. Ah, oh, well. Why are y'all jumping around for? You know how like hard it is to keep y'all in frame when you do that? I swear if you sung Old Man River, oh, you'll pull it off well. Uh, I don't do too well with singing anymore. Like, especially with like singing lower. Just because like, I don't know, I used to be a vocalist and now I... You know, it's almost like a self-confidence thing. Like, it's fucked. Which is funny, because I could probably still have seen a lot of people even without being out of practice. I just... My brain goes, you're not as good as you used to be, so you're terrible type thing, you know? But... Nah, I don't got a great singing voice. Though I can, like, imitate corpse good enough that uh, people would probably enjoy it, but that's about it. Because, like, I could drop my voice so that I could just be like, yeah, like... No. User message was removed. Well, seeing as you had to, like, type that in yourself. 
because I wouldn't have popped up otherwise. Oh, man. Yeah. I wonder who else is on that I might be able to bug to join us for, like, some spooky scary. Hmm. Just sucks that like ninety percent of the fucking people I know like are doing the mute thing now, which I get, but at the same time, it's like makes it really hard to have a conversation. Uh, messes with on-screen chat box. Does it though? Nah. Get rid of your copyright music out of here. Stop it. <laughs> Nick, I'm going to invite him. And if he doesn't join me, I'll cry. He thinks it was, so it puts. Yeah, but what's the point in doing that? Mm. Look out, it's right. I'm gonna Here kill you. It Stop it. it. I don't want no copyright <laughs> in my house. Stop. I don't want to get in trouble. Stop. Alright, I'll get rid of it. <sighs> Whoa. He just copy wronged that copyright into his brain. <sighs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh man. My head is starting to hurt. Though we do have a half hour left for stream. Unless it ends up like getting really interesting. Uh, well, hold up. Is Frick still alive? Because I know he wanted me to join him tonight. But I told him I probably couldn't. And then, you know, I ended up streaming anyways. Because I was expecting to be like moving today. But it didn't end up working out that way. Yes, he appears to still be alive. God damn it. Hmm. Here's what you do. You take that skateboard off your back before sick 360 off, whatever. But how does that benefit us? I don't know, it'd be cool. <laughs> I don't even think I have any like gestures that uses it. I'm just going through like my friends list on Discord. I think those came from a Crasher world, so oh. yeah. I don't tend to fuck with too many gestures when I get an avatar from one of those. You know, keep myself safe and all with firing directly at my feet. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't look like I got too many people on Discord that play VR chat, so can't bug nobody with that. Oof. 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 Maybe I'll just like call stream early. Who knows? Like I mean we vibe it we talk about like scary stuff, but like it's it's not as much as I want to be talking about. Hmm. You know, I did mention that I was gonna be that the things about what I've been watching today, so I, I want to talk about that real quick. So, I was just like browsing through the YouTube's as I often do, looking for like more like green text, like you know slash X or slash K or like Reddit post shit, right? And I stumbled across one where it was just like this, like you know, very pretty lady that, um out in like Sweden or something and I was like this looks interesting why not I'll watch this and she literally like decided that one day she was just gonna up and move to like super far north Sweden right and she was just like all right like let's, let's just do this and then she ended up like making her own kind of life there with you know being like hard working and just like quitting her job and then it was really interesting and then she kind of took on like doing YouTube and shit and photography and She's, like, living, like, a great life. And I'm like, dude, I kind of want to do that, but I live here in Canada. Maybe I should, like, move out to the middle of fucking, like, just move out into, like, some random woods up north. And then, 
well, learn how to hunt first, you know, but become like lay of the land kind of thing. And I'm like, I don't know if I could actually survive that. Hmm. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know what I mean? But like the, the thought was in my head. Cause I'm like, wow, she gets to just live her life and do whatever she wants. And she like, I'll give you some quick tips. Some quick tips. See, I, I I know how to kill an animal. It's more of like properly stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> devour or seduce, hunt and grow potatoes. Yeah, pretty much. Like I know how to do like farming and all that, but I just don't know how to properly like um, skin and fillet and all that shit for animals. So that's pretty much the only thing I would need because I already know how to like do. Like how to, I literally know how to build a cabin and everything too. It would just be like putting forth all that effort and then figuring out how to properly collect enough water to survive without needing to like go into a town or some shit. I was like, just go off grid, just live out in the middle of fucking nowhere. But hunting would be difficult because it's not something I have any experience in. But my brain was like, you know what? I could just give up everything and do that. And I was like, yeah, that's probably really stupid. This person did that because she moved to a town that had a population of ten. You know, like. She was at least able to get a house, and there was people nearby. So I was like, yeah, maybe uh, I don't do that. But I was like, I could. I could. I live in Canada. I could. There's enough forest. I'd never be found, you know. But it was kind of a dumb thing. Well, like, yeah, like, I've seen how to do stuff, like, how to properly, like, skin them and everything on like tv shows and shit but i'd want to actually like learn it in person you know like i'd want someone to teach me if i were to do it but my main problem is i have difficulty with like hurting animals in any way like i don't even go fishing because of that so you know what i mean i don't know if i can actually do it <laughs> i know how to i just don't know if i could There's TV shows about skinning. Do you not have a hunting channel where you live? Like, there's there's plenty of hunting channels here in Canada, and on YouTube, and you know, I've gotten like the rundown how to do shit too. I just don't, I've never seen it because it always made me squeamish as a kid. Because you know, again, I don't even fish. I'm like, I don't want to hurt the animal, so. But Remember, my brain was like, when dumping a beer, do not cut open the stomach. You will regret this. Yeah, it's because it stinks, right? Yes. Quite badly. Yeah, I've, I've been around dead deer before. Yeah, I know the stink. Um, talk about my own time skinning them. Fair enough. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, there's YouTube channels that teach you on how to properly prepare animals, and there's TV shows, like hunting channels and stuff. But no, I, I don't know if I could actually do it. If I needed to, maybe. But I'm like, I don't know even know how to fucking... Like, do you decapitate a deer? Like, what the hell? Like, and if you do, whereabouts on the neck? Because how much of the neck is food, you know? Most of the neck is actually food. It's yeah. quite good, really. Yeah, like, I've had venison, but I've just never gotten it. it. Takes time to get over it? Yeah, I just also wasn't raised around, like, any form of hunting. So, hunting or fishing. Molded by it. <laughs> it was molded by hunting. <laughs> My father sent me out into the woods and said, run. He gave me a three minute head start. I was molded into it. <laughs> Not quite, but, um, I mean, by the age of eight, I knew how to start a campfire from, you know, flint and steel. Well, yeah, like, I know that stuff. So. carrying something that could start a fire on me. Yeah, I've always got matches and a lighter on me just in case. But, I mean, at the moment I don't have a lighter because I lent it to my friend and she ended up losing it. And I was like, you bitch. And I just haven't gotten another one yet, but, you know. I've needed to, whenever I have a smoke, I need to light it with a fucking match. And I'm like, Ugh. and I have shit matches. So I'm like, oh god. So, I, did, I would really like to get one of those, like, forever flints. It's like, where you literally... It doesn't go out unless you put it inside the whatever type holster thing. And you just take it out and strike it once and it instantly lights. It's really neat looking. Oh, Angel's doing good, man. He's getting ready for another photo shoot. Yeah, Angel, just remember, you're not supposed to, like, t 
type stuff in the cosplay shots. That's that's just for images, not for words. So if you want to ask people about stuff, you put it in the appropriate channels, dude. I needed to delete some messages that you've posted. So, but yeah, just remember the the photo shoot thing is like cosplay photos are only for photos, not for text. Um, for deer, right at the base of the head, and meat wise, it's tough meat. But then the uh, uh, trachea is uh, good to first boil it, then grill. Okay, okay. See, I'm not really a big fan of boiling. Yeah, purple fish also quite good. I don't know how I'd feel about eating organs. Like, the native part of me, because, you know, being part native, it goes like, use everything, you don't waste, right? But then, like, the other, like, weird kind of, like, spiritual shit from people I've, like, things I've collected over other people, it's like, this could be used for this type of ritual. And I'm like, I don't know if that's really the smart thing to just lie around, but, or if I even need it for that, but, you know. You'd be that way. Because, like, I know if I ever would hunt, I would obviously thank the animal. Like, I'm sorry that I need to take you out, but, like, thank you. Now I get to live. Kind of a thing, you know? But. Man, it's really off putting hearing, like, this ominous, like, music that I have playing and hearing, like, someone with a shovel off to my left. I don't know if chat can hear it, but it's, I can definitely hear it. Heart, liver, kidneys, uh, all good meat, rest of it for bait or grit into sausage. Yeah, like, I don't know. I, I, again, I can't. Like, I, organs are weird for me. Like, I just like the meat, you know. And again, I, I don't really go out of my way to hunt at all because I've never done it. So, and I, I like normal food because that's what I've been raised on. Like, as long as I'm not told what I'm eating, I'm like, alright, cool. But... Generally, I can tell if it's not, you know, like a muscle that I'm eating. <laughs> and muscle is kind of the main thing that you eat, right? Hmm? Go get some rattle. Rattle? What, what do you mean? Go get some rattlesnake meat, hook it up. And oh, okay, snake. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think you're allowed to eat snake here in Canada, actually. I've never seen anyone like sell snake meat, and snakes are super easy to breed. So, what are they gonna do? Make you cough it up? I mean, <laughs> I think it's kind of the same as how you can't like cook dog or cat here, you know? Snake is tricky to cook around, like gator. See, like, I thought snake was fairly easy to cook, though. Because, yeah, it's, it's Ketter. Yeah, it's Ketter. Because um, I'm pretty sure, don't you just, like, cut off the head and then make sure that the head isn't anywhere near where it can, like, bite you because they can still bite afterwards. And then yeah, you cut off just below where it's, uh, I guess they technically have, well, they don't have, like, an actual, like, sexual orifice. Don't they also have a cloaca? Whatever, you cut off just above that or some shit. And then, like, you cut right up the belly and then fold that off and then you're like cool I got a belt dry that out and then you cut down the spine and pull the meat off that way pretty sure that's how it's supposed to be making it taste good oh okay because I know my dad said that he's had snake before um but my dad also used to do a lot of illegal shit so and I'm pretty sure you're not allowed to eat snake here I could be completely wrong on that but I've just never seen you know anyone sell it or offer it anywhere but I've heard gator it has like the consistency of chicken but tastes sort of like plum and I'm like mm, I don't know how I feel about that sounds interesting but I don't know how I feel about it well now I've googled snake penis and I can never unsee what I've seen well <laughs> shit you're also probably on a list now I was on the list before, let's be honest here. That's fair. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Aren't we all on a list at some point? Yeah, Santa Claus's list. The naughty list. You bitch. Yeah, I'm looking at you. You know, fucking Santa Claus's naughty list. What you get? 
Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah, be alright, dude. Alright, you know what? If everyone's gonna be small, I might as well go back to being small. Alright, here we go. Do be like that sometimes. It be that way. Everybody like spaced out enough that it makes it hard to put y'all on screen. It's all good. Well, you know, if someone throws a grenade into this group, we'll be ready for it. Our space <laughs> is on point. You know what? He has a point. Well, it's a pretty good point. Social for COVID. Oh, God. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what it is. Yep. Nothing else. Couldn't possibly just be all of us not paying attention. Gator tastes different based on how it lived. Plum flavor is from captive breed ones. Wild ones have what I would say is swamp flavor, kind of like bullfrog. You can't say like bull. Who the fuck eats bullfrog? Why? Why would you compare it to something well. no one else would eat? Wait, you eat bull? What is? Is that like a normal thing for you Americans or some shit? What? Y'all just like eat what you can find? Is it that bad there? God. No, I haven't. I'm pretty good at not doing that. Yeah, I'm alright with never having that. Like, I'll try anything once, but I'll probably avoid a lot of things, too. Yeah, see, I like normal food. <laughs> frog legs everywhere is bullfrog because it's big. I mean, that makes sense, yeah, but... Hmm. I guess it would make sense that, like, the meat would change flavor based off the environment. Because, like... The captive ones clearly are going to be in better water that's maintained for a specific way to keep them alive. Whereas the other ones are just like, eh, fuck it. I'm alive. I'm a dinosaur. I don't give a shit. You know? Sort of like a house plant versus an outdoor plant. You know? House plant. Ugh. Is this tap water? I'm allergic. Dandelion. Is this fucking concrete? Awesome. You know? And it grows out of that. Like... You know what I mean? Like... It's exactly how it is, too. It do be like that sometimes. Yeah, they don't think it do, but it be, man. Oh, man. That's what I'm saying. That's what we be saying. <sighs> man. I really gotta eat more often. <laughs> I'm just sitting here thinking, like, I'm getting... Peckish. It's a tad bit peckish. Well, just look at it this way. You got, you got some pizza in the mail. Mm, I mean, he sent me one dollar to try and help with getting pizza. One dollar that went to my PayPal, so I can't, you know, withdraw it until I get at least ten dollars in the account. But, you know, that's fine. It's a thought that counts, and I appreciate it. Is oh my god, yes, good way of saying captive versus homegrown. Pizza. Yeah, that's kind of what it seems like. Or... Isn't captive technically homegrown if it's an animal? Gotcha. This Pizza. motherfucker. Hey, hey, Rel. Hey, wait, but, you got a little car? I'll oh my god. Out. Hang on, I figured it out. It's one, one of, of these buttons. things. Hang on. Oh, oh. Uh, oh, oh, no, hang on. Oh, that's not it. <sighs> this man. Also, I think your avatar cloning's still on, dude. No, I had this in my. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Ready? 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 Hey. Let me just really quickly. Uh. Yep. All right. There we go. And uh, that solved that problem. <laughs> Just a real quick little blockity blue. I like my pizza. I've crafted it hand just for you. I want you to never talk to me again. <laughs> He's like, but I'm literally a mod in everything you have. Good day. Hang on, I'll talk. Oh man. Oof. Alright, you know what? I think it, it feels like everyone's just kind of done for the moment, so let's go and find someone to go and raid. Uh, let's go out of here. And let's go to twitch.tiv. 
Here it goes following. Who is online? Uh, hmm. Oh shit, my boy Ted is playing Phasmophobia. Well, you know what we gotta do, boys. Gotta get into his thing and then mute it really quick. Alright. He's always playing Ben Ben. I need to fuck. Alright. Slash raid. Dead. Dark ass. Alright. Show him some love. This man is a, is a fantastic man. He's got a beard and I don't know what the fuck is in his mouth right now. He's a special kind of entertaining. I'm sure you guys will have a great time. Uh... I love y'all. Thank you for stopping on by. If you don't already follow me on social media and whatnot, I would kind of appreciate it. It kind of boosts my ego a little. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys over in uh, his chat. Take it easy, everyone. See ya.